All I know is... All right, go ahead.
Yep. Uh, apparently, no, maybe not, but apparently Raw's gonna be in the dark. Because I have, like, man, it is clear skies here. Oh, dude, it's, I can hear it outside the window, and I just turned the audio back on, so. All right, that's all I'm saying. To answer your question, that's why, because, yeah. like, the evidence against hydroxychloroquine is, like, ridiculously, like, study after study after study after study. Where the one four is like, oh yeah, I use it, and that's it. But there's no actual real, yeah, stat. It it works on both ends. But all right, let's get this started. It it works for uh, malaria, um, arthritis, and malaria. Yeah, rheumatoid arthritis. Because my friend, because my friend Jen, yeah, she has to take it for arthritis. Yep, and she's pissed as hell. Because now the price is ridiculous, so they could stop the morons from buying it. Yeah, but seriously, I got this shit going on outside. So let's right, get this right, started. Sorry. I don't. No, I don't. I, I'm not trying to cut you off like that, but I I don't want to also good. kill the power. But G- John, you awake? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. No, I just I remember you always say you fall asleep during this shit. So are you awake? No, I don't fall asleep. You, I zone out. Yeah, go watch the Mets. You'll fall asleep during that. <laughs> Oh, but yes, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to From Real to Heal. On today's episode, we enter into the King of Iron Fist tournaments. Which Ooh. one? Ah, oh, no. Because they mixed all the fucking movies together. Uh, <laughs> and all the games together? Oh, yeah, well, they, there's apparently... This leads into the second fucking film that... But it does. But it doesn't, because... exactly. It has the same people... But it doesn't yeah, but tech, in... Tech, in the, tech in 2, The Rise of K, is a prequel. A prequel, yeah. It, but yeah, yeah. But, yes, they mix in all the games, because I have no idea where Miguel Rojo, Rojas is from. Uh, he's from, like, uh, I think Tekken 5 or some shit. Oh, okay, the one that... The, the, same, the, game, the same game where Dragunov is from. Dragunov was in 4. And Raven. Yeah. Raven was in Tekken Tag. That that's not the point. But yeah, we dive into the King of Iron Fist, where there should have been a King sighting, but yeah, we got Yoshi Mitsu instead. And we review Tekken as well as our top ten crazy celebrities. Chris hit us with the music. La da 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 real heel. <laughs> and we're back with the real theme song. I swear to God. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what did you say? We need a real fucking theme song for God's sake. Oh God, I'll get, I'll, I'll put one on. All right, I'll, I'll make one. I just don't have one right now, and it's like, what? From real to heel, done. And then also for Wednesday, you know, put up, put, put up your zone. I might as well, Chris. We might as well just go back to the OG uh, intro for the uh, the nerd zone, the college football. I. I the problem is, like, it's copyrighted stuff, and as soon as you use it, you get flagged. Yeah. That's so a, that's why well, that's, that's why we started with the but on bum bum but on nerd zone. Yeah. Done. But with and that being funny yes, because it makes fun of like, like hit us with the music, but on bum bum but on nerd zone. <laughs> Done. And with that being said, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. This is from Real to Heal. I'm your host, Evan Ronnie, and with me as always, it's I, Trips, and I hate Tekken. <laughs> The game or the movie? Both. <laughs> and the zombie master who might be turning heel at one of these points. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Alright, boys. Where do we want to start? Oh actually no. No. We, we we know where we're gonna start. Chris, what you watch this week? Oh, what I watched this besides week. Besides Tekken. Least, uh, besides fucking Tekken, oh. <laughs> um after uh, a Tekken, I went on a little bit of a movie hunt so I can torture you guys. Oh, right. And, and I'm, go- I'm going to have you pick your fate. Oh, boy. But it's not going to be by movie. It's going to be by director. Oh, God. Is one, have fun. Is, is one Shammy? No. Ooh. Ooh. No more brain, please. Ooh. No Breen either. No Breen. No, I was going to say, he's not going to torture us with Breen yet. 
But I thought he might have tortured us with a chamois movie, so I'm interested now. No, I got my torture. It's, oh, I know that, but I'm just right. saying. I'm just saying. Right. I'm interested. Right. Basically, it's the directors are Godfrey Hall, Ooh. Menachem Golan, Fuck yeah! Gary P. Jacobs, Kelly Macon, Steve Cohen. Oh, that narrows it fucking down. Fuck you with the last one. <laughs> fuck you with the Steve Cohen. Why? Why are you? Why are you saying "fuck you"? Because I going? think I know what movie you're going with, and I'll wait. What? I, I'm. I'm. I think I know, but I know. I know a Steve Cohen. So yeah, <laughs> I, I know. I, I mean, I, you'd be. You should be worried about Menachem Golan. I. I. Uh, dude, I've seen your pics. I know your movies. I know Menachem Golan's bed too. All right, what? Yeah, Menachem Golan can range from. Some action, ch- shitty action to shitty other. Dude, I'm waiting um, for someone to go Bollywood. <laughs> right. Dude, I, you know what? I may, I may take the choice out of your hands. Since uh, it's my opinion, I don't know any of these fucking directors you're talking about. I have no clue. Well, I, I'll play by ear. Maybe you guys can pick one. Of course, this is afterwards. And then I'll see how you guys react. And if you guys are, eh, and if you guys don't, then maybe I'll hit you with the other torture. Yeah. Be afraid. All right. But yeah. All right, John. All right. All right. right, What else I watch? Yeah. Um, uh, three episodes of last chance. You. Okay. Um, it was good. I mean, Talk about a hell of a freaking season when your three quarterbacks go down and you start the wide receiver in the third game at quarterback. Also, uh, two episodes of Umbrella Academy season two. I didn't. I just didn't finish it all because you know sports were back on. So, yeah. yeah. And. You know, the Sixers, oh, UFC was, eh. And, What's um, with the lights going on and off with Raw? I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not watching because I have the Sixers on. Well, then, speaking of wrestling, I got to ask you that question when we get into it. But sorry, hold keep on, going. Hold on. So then also I watched uh, some movies. I'll just say that. <laughs> I watched some movies. Yeah. Uh, well, Bridal Academy two is season two is really good. I don't know if you've seen season one. No, I have not. Uh, I I watched uh, the last episode. I watched the finale of season one just to refresh. And then I was then I got season two. It's pretty cool. Um, my chance here. I watched a little bit of the order. The problem is with a lot of these Netflix things, uh, I'm going to watch like little bits and then eventually I'm going to get sucked into one and watch that one all the way through. And then I'm, which the only reason that didn't happen with Last Chance U is because I fell asleep like around like, I think it was like 1230 on Friday night, like 1230, one o'clock when Last Chance U was going. And I was just like, I woke up on Saturday. I'm like, yeah, I got some other stuff to do. So it didn't happen. Right. And then, well, yeah, then Saturday night, I started watching uh, Umbrella Academy. Okay. And, yeah, I mean, it was funny. I started watching it after uh, UFC. And then you didn't go to sleep. Oh, yeah, I, I slept in till like, 7.30 last, uh, yesterday. I, I know, because joke ahead, joke now. Go ahead and joke. No, trust me, because I was the same thing. No, no, you, it's like, oh, yeah, I, I get to sleep in now till 7.30. Dude, uh, I get to sleep in tomorrow because of this storm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just like, I get to sleep in till 7.30. And it's just like, where's my life gone? Because, 
and it's because I wake up at five. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say Monday through Friday. For us, waking up at seven thirty is like is is freaking glorious. I I remember the Rutgers day. I remember the Rutgers day. You're like, you're gonna be up. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna be up before you. <laughs> and you were. I was up at six thirty. You come down at like eight o'clock. Like, dude. I already had like a glass of water. I'm fully dressed. Uh, but all right. I remember that D was like, have you, he's been up since six thirty. Watching the uh watching the uh the circle. The Oh yeah. Yeah Yeah, yeah was that the inner circle. The cir- yeah, you were watching the circle. Oh god. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn reality shows. But, all right, so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was watching. Yep, so, John, what did you watch this week? Uh, I binged watched a couple of uh, older sitcoms and one uh, reality-type entertainment show. I watched a little uh, second season of Ride with Norman Reedus. I'm a big fan of Norman Reedus and just watching... You know, him going on a motorcycle, going cross-country, different places. I just find that shit absolutely fascinating. We could kill everybody. And, we can make a living out of this. Well, at least you called him Norman Reedus. I know people go, I'm watching Ride with Daryl. I'm like, oh. No, his name is, name is fucking Norman Reedus, all right? Daryl is a fucking character, not an not an ass. Yeah. Not that. So, I mean, I have respect for him in that regard. And I watched an old sitcom called Rules of Engagement. Watched uh. a little of that with uh, Spade, Patrick Warburton, and stuff like that. And Because they liked the Mets on that show, so I said, what the hell? And then I watched a sitcom that was on. I was flipping around Netflix, and I happened to see it. I watched a little of that old show called Sam and Cat. Uh. With uh, Ariana Grande and uh, Jeanette McCurdy. Yeah, I know, I know, I know of Sam and Cat. Hey, I just figured, well, you know what? It was, it's kind of like iCarly meets Victorious, obviously. Yeah. It's both girl, both girls from different shows. It's you know silly comedy, but I find it entertaining. But that was pretty much it. Uh, what did I watch? I watched a lot of uh, old American Pickers. Oh, I haven't watched that in forever. Dude, dude, that's like the History Channel. Like, as soon as you start, you just go deep down oh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's as bad, dude. It's as bad as, like, you just that deep dive into shit. It's like, what the hell is going on? Dude, like, I was it A&E and TLC when I'm sick? Oh, God. <laughs> when they have, like, the storage wars and, like, yes. Scientology. Like, they got, like, all storage wars, and then they have Scientology shit, like, dude, I had that station on, I remember when I was really sick, like, a year or two ago, and it had, had first thing I put on, like, yeah, I'm like, all right, cool, I guess we're sticking here, and then it was storage wars till, like, 2 p.m. <laughs> and then they I had haven't watched Scient- that show in forever. Dude, then, yeah, then, then, then all of a sudden you realize... Remedy versus Scientology for the rest... I had that thing locked on A and E, and I'm just sitting there, like trying to get better. I'm like, uh, um, right, let me ask you this: Since you watch Storage Wars, did you have a favorite person? Oh boy! See, I was never a fan of Storage Wars. I watched, um, uh, what was the other one that was a Storage one on Spike? Uh, uh, uh Auction Hunters. Auction Hunters. That I that watched. That was Alan and Ton. Yeah. Let me see, because uh, uh, my favorite one on Storage Wars was the brunette. Uh, where the hell is she at? Seriously, what is up with the lights? On what, at Raw? Yeah. I have no idea. Oh, it was Mary. Mary? Yeah, and... Mary. I liked Mary. Because she seemed like the most like chill that like I'm gonna do this like she was nerdy Dale was just annoying cause he's like yep 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 no that's Dave Dave whatever Dave the Hester. yep guy oh he was yeah, annoying Dave Hester yep 
I hated that fucking guy. Renee was a charlatan. Renee is just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make this. Yes, I could take this thing for five dollars and turn around for thirty. I'm like, you fucking dick. <laughs> My favorite, I can tell you right off the bat, what I have to say. I love Brandy and Jared. I love watching the two of them go at it, man. They're funny when they argue against each other. When she yeah. says, "Don't bet on a unit," I'm gonna bet on a unit. Oh yeah, you're gonna <laughs> not gonna make any money. I said I'm gonna bet on the unit. Don't bet on the unit. I mean, it's I'm gonna bet on the unit. <laughs> but then you know what? Whenever he bit, ninety percent of the time, whenever he bit on something, they found something good in one of those fucking units. Uh, and he goes, "So are you gonna apologize?" She goes, "No, you just got lucky. It's always you got lucky. Always you got lucky." <laughs> like no, Mary he's got fucking skill. <laughs> Mary just was always on her own most of the time, and she's just like. Huh, that looks pretty interesting. None of these guys will bet it. I will take it. And then she always finds like some ridiculously cool nerdy shit in it. And it actually sell like she sells some of the stuff, but then she takes a lot to like its other antique store or she donates it. So oh. I'm down with that where Renee would take like I'm not gonna donate anything. I'm just gonna take it all. And I'm gonna sell it. And then there was the, what's his name? What's the other guy, too? Um, the big dude. That's Renee. No, 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 no. Not the big dude, the tall one, the older guy. Oh, God, I don't know. I know oh. the black guy. <laughs> I hate calling him the black guy, but he's the only black guy. Oh, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> name. Yeah, he always, like, he's like, he always gets them for cheap, and sometimes they come out really good, and the other times, man, he's like, man, this sucks. Let me look it up, because I know what you're talking about. It's going to drive me crazy. Oh, oh, God. Here we go talking about storage wars. <laughs> just, just, uh, um, let's see. Uh, it's, it's Ivy. A... Ivy, that was the guy's name. Ivy. Yeah, Ivy. Ivy. And then hey, Daryl <laughs> Sheets, that's the older guy. Oh, uh, yeah. And then you forgot one guy. He left the show. That I another guy is uh, Barry. Oh, uh, well, one of the guys fought with Dave or Dale. Dave. So he left. Everybody fought with fucking Dave Hester. That guy's a that guy was a jack off. He got into a fight with the fucking auctioneer. I yeah, I remember when Mary told him to go fuck himself. <laughs> She's like, that's I'm not, sick of you, Dave. Do. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> It was like, go threw him out of an auction once. <laughs> yeah. So, and there was one more thing I watched uh, this week on Disney Plus. The Muppets. Oh, I thought you watched Hamilton. No, I've already seen Hamilton. You don't understand it? No, 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 no. I've seen Hamilton already. Oh. I thought you said you don't understand it. I'm like, you don't understand it. Oh, no, 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 no. I understand Hamilton. I, I already, I saw it years. Like, I, I, I saw it, um, oh, what is it? I didn't see it. I saw it off Broadway. Ah. I've okay. never seen it, so. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's, it's really good. It's on it's, Disney Plus. It's on Disney Plus now, but, um, what I saw was The Muppets. The Muppet movie or the no, Muppet? No, they put out a new Muppet show. It's just the one that was on ABC. No, The Office. Fuck you. The Muppets as The Office is fucking great. It just got canceled early. That was freaking so. That was yeah. funny. Uh, no, it's actually a skit comedy show, like the old okay. school, like the old school mm -hmm. Muppets, but satirizing. Oh, okay. But like, but it's satirizing streaming. So they're all okay. they're I'm all getting thunder here now. Yeah, thunder, so they're all thunder. quarantined. So plot thunder of the, plot of the story, they're all quarantined in their homes. So they're making a streaming ver they're making a streaming version of the Muppets and they're sending all their clips to Scooter who's putting them all together. So like you have a cooking show with the Swedish chef, you have <laughs> You have like a dude they had RuPaul on the first episode. Okay. And they had like the normal like Kermit's doing the interview, but then you're having like Fozzie walk up trying to make a joke. You're having like 
all the old school like style like animals jumping in. And Miss Piggy doing a TikTok. Miss Piggy does a TikTok. She does a makeup. Um, she does a makeup uh, commercial. Where it's, oh god, a YouTube makeup tutorial. Where, where it's slap beauty, and it's just some ch- some puppet walking in and slapping Miss Piggy. <laughs> All right. But it's like, it's... Oh, the... something beautiful just happened on Raw. Shayna Baszler punched Sasha right in the face. <laughs> oh, beautiful. But, um... All right. It's the old school... All right, school... I'm have to watch that later. But it's the old oh, school... Oh, that's a beautiful thing. She just went, boom, knocked her on her ass. But it's <laughs> it's the 80s and 70s style version of the Muppets mixed with today's culture. Okay. So it's a it's a good idea. I think there's only one if I double check, but I believe there's only one episode just out. They're gonna do it like weekly. Ah, okay. So it's something I definitely say people to watch. I I enjoy it, but at the same time, I, it's weird. It's like like I said, it's like the old school Muppets. So not a lot of people are gonna get the old school style of the Muppets. Oh, I get it. Oh, I know you do. But it's like SNL. It's like the SNL style. It's skit comedy. Yeah. Speaking of SNL, I can't believe they're doing a version of SNL at home now. They've been doing that. I just caught it. I just caught one the other day, and I'm like, this shit is weird. (laughs) Yeah. Well, they're doing, like, the late night shows from home now, all that shit. Like, they're just trying to do anything until shit gets back to normal. Oh, I know. <laughs> one thing off, the, off the topic, what is your take? I want to know what's your guys' take on the on the Uncharted video game series. There's a reason I asked. Uh, the games are good. The movie looks like it's gonna suck. There it is. The movie is already has just begun. Has just started filming. I'm sorry. No to Tom fucking Holland. Nathan fucking Fillion is Drake. I'm sorry. Yeah, we had Nathan, you got Nate being played by Tom uh, Tom Holland, and Wahlberg's playing Sully. I'm sorry, but if I'm doing the casting on that, (laughs) Nathan Fillion is Nathan Drake. Because if you saw him, he's he's too old. There's a problem with that. The reason they're doing that that now is because it's a prequel. Yeah, and well, they got to do the younger version. Also, the other problem with Nathan Fillion is Nathan, Nathan Drake. Is Nate Fillion's old? Have you seen the fan film? Yeah, that was done five or six years ago. Yeah, that was done when Nate Fillion didn't have any gray hair. Guess what? No, he dude, has gray hair just, now. Just for men work, and, I, and I'm sorry, Sully should be played by Bruce Campbell. Oh, oh my God. Bruce Bruce Campbell or Sully, come on. That's a perfect casting right there. The problem is you are digging up fossils. No, no, (laughs) Sully's old to begin with, so that would be perfect for fucking Bruce Campbell. All right, the biggest problem with the Uncharted movie isn't going to be people making it. It's going to be the people, like, it's going to be the reception. Yeah. Because people rip the shit out of Tomb Raider like the new one? Yeah, I've never and the I, new I, movie I, I haven't seen it. good. I can't say anything on it because I haven't seen it. Not yet, anyway. Well, let me put it to you this way. Out of all the video games that I've played in my life, there's been two video game series that I've been addicted to the Resident Evil series <laughs> and the Uncharted series. As a matter of fact, I'm currently replaying Uncharted. The series for the fifth or sixth time. I've already beaten. I beat. I started it last night, and I knocked out one last between last night and this morning. I knocked out part one. Drake's fortune. Yeah. Now I'm already halfway done with uh, the second one. But I love the Uncharted series. That is such great storytelling. The video game, the action is fantastic. The comedy that comes from the characters. Have you played the games, Chris, or no? I don't own a PS4 or a PS3. No, can... All right, then, Ronnie, have you played them? Yeah, I own them. In the second game, tell me you didn't get a chuckle when Chloe and Nathan are going through the hotel and they got to get to the top and he goes into the swimming pool. 
and goes, Marco. She goes, are you serious? And he goes, Marco, hello. <laughs> and then he jumps yeah, out well, and he jumps a, out and goes, fish out of water, fish out of water. It's, I mean, a, I just, it's a movie. Like, literally, that was the thing that was, that made, see, okay. So that is what made... The, that's what made that's what made the the re, the reboot of Tomb Raider was the fact that it was almost like a freaking movie. Now I'll say this: the the Tomb Raider movie or the Tomb Raider game and the Uncharted games all were booked like they were a their writing was great because they made it like a movie. But here's the difference between the games and a game like The Last of Us, where. I, I'm sorry, the fact that The Last of Us has so much praise behind it is baffling to me. Because the game is... The, the story's good. If you want to watch it as a movie, great. It's great. That That's fine. You're lovely, lovely, great, great, wonderful. Fucking... Who cares? Chris, your girl's on TV now. But... The problem All is... Right, the, I, I don't... The Last of Us has shitty controllers. Has shitty controls. Where the fuck are you passing that to? <laughs> uh, well, the Phillies must have fucked up. Or the, the Sixers must have fucked up. No, no, Ben Simmons did a no-look pass to nobody. <laughs> well, th- but that's anyway, what it, it but when no, it comes to... It was a no-look comes... bounce pass to, like... He goes like that. Like, yeah, there I got it. Oh, Richardson fell down, then it went to the bench. Ah, but what were you saying, John? But no, no, when it comes to the Uncharted series, it's like, you know what it is? It's just like, I, I am so, I I was addicted to the PS3 versions. And then I got on PS4, they had one, two, and three all in one package remastered. I bought that. And I bought Uncharted 4, which, in my opinion, is one of the best games, period. Because the, the, the acting stuff. The act, the acting, the voice acting style, the cinematics, and the overall uh, gameplay is just great. And then even uh, the shorter know. game, I don't know. Even the shorter one, the Lost Legacy with Chloe and um, what's her fucking name? Yeah, I don't uh, remember. But yeah, let's not get into an argument about what's the best game. Well, no, I'm no, I'm here, just, I'm just, I'm just saying. In my opinion, in my opinion. Okay. See. My my biggest thing with a lot of those games like that is after like the cinematics of the story are gone, and then you have to play it. That like if you could just throw, you know, yeah, when you go fuck around in it, just like you know, you know how you go dicking around looking for like side shit all the time. Does that actually still get fun, or when you go off the beaten path, is it boring as hell? To where they force you on the beaten path, because like I'll say this for the Uncharted series, they don't. It is, it is, it is more linear. Yes, it is more of a linear game, but the controllers are good behind a great story. Yes, amen. I will say that as a guy who's not a like a guy who plays it, who's played it, but is not overly dramatic about it. Yeah, what, I, what I mean is like when you go dicking around where the story has nothing to do with it. Yeah, no, no. Like, it has good controls. It does not... The controllers don't fuck around with it. It's at least... it. The controllers are not... Unset, how to describe it? The controllers are not... Like, it doesn't turn you off of the game. No, I'm not saying the controllers. Like, all right, all right. Like, the biggest way I could say, like, with Tomb Raider, like, with the first... Tomb Raider reboot where it was very scary because it was like almost anybody could kill you because it was you know the the beginning of a survivor yeah you weren't you weren't strong yet right you weren't strong yet but they had things where you could dick around and hunt animals yeah and the thing is like the cool thing about that was at least they would replay they would constantly like uh, respawn certain enemies yeah so while you're doing that you could get stealthy like like, my favorite stealth game is Splinter Cell. Always you, will be. Yeah, like, you can grind a little. Yeah, you could grind a little bit, but it's always fun. Right. You could grind, it's but it's It's not tedious fun. like a game like, um, I'll just throw it, like a Final Fantasy game, 
where after yeah, a while... you go off the beaten path and it becomes boring as well, hell. Well, no, the game... See, here's the thing. A game like Final Fantasy VII, the story, even the side stories are good. Where the games like Final Fantasy lose people is when you go off the beaten path to grind, to literally try to level everything up. That's when the game gets tedious. That's where it's just be like, fuck this, fuck this shit. Like, oh my god. Oh, oh, what game? What game was that? Uh, that came out last year. That was like where the story was good, but in order to really get anywhere, you had to grind all the time. Um, shadows. Uh, shadows. That secure. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh god. Yeah, where the, the story's great. Well, but that's, the problem is, that's a never in order to well, beat anybody yeah. in the story and advance it, you had to get, like, ridiculously high-powered, oh. and the only way to do that was to grind. And as soon as you grinded, it was boring as are, fuck. Are you shocked? It's a Demon Souls game. Yeah. It's a From it's Soft, like, it's a From Soft game. What yeah, do you expect? Like, yeah, it's like, as soon as, like, you have to grind, it's boring as hell. Where Ninja Gaiden, you couldn't grind... Your grind was basically play the game. <laughs> play the game, don't die. There was your grind. See, me me and John, I know you're not into this, and obviously we're not, and we're doing a fighter. That's also why fighting games to me have always been fun, because it's more of a chess match. My problem is, is now going online, you can never get a steady fucking connection with anybody. And you or have, the time you do... Or as soon as you do get a connection... They drop out. They drop well, out or they cheat. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing with that, with, with the Uncharted games. I'll say this. When you play those games, Ronnie, you may or may you may or may not disagree with me. You may agree or disagree with me. When you play these characters, you get invested in these characters. You get invested in Nathan, Elena, Sullivan, Laura. Chloe. Yeah, like Tomb Raider, Laura Croft, Cloud. You know what? And here's the thing: I've never played. I've never played Tomb Raider. I've it's... never watched the movies. Eh, you're every not mis- time I've gone into the store to try to find a new game, everybody is trying to shove Tomb Raider down my throat because I played the Uncharted game. So. The best way I can say this is when it comes to Tomb Raider, my biggest issue with Tomb Raider is never the first one. The first one is the cream of the fucking crop for Tomb Raider. The second one is the cream of the crop. The third one's the one that's like, ugh. Well, no. Here's my issue with the second one. And it has nothing to do with the story. It has everything to do with your progression. Lore is supposed to be... A Tomb Raider, like the top shit. Oh, I'm losing all my power. Like, it's the whole, I gotta start from scratch again. Oh, I gotta lose all my powers. It's like, no! Not in the second one. In the second one, she's, in the second one, she's a survivor. But it's like her first real, like, Tomb Raiding mission. Because remember, the first game wasn't supposed to be a mission. No, the first one was Indiana. The first one was literally, I shit you not. Is Indiana Looking Jones. Looking for my dad. Is Indiana Jones. Yeah, the first one. Yeah, the first Tomb Raider game was like, my dad said this, my dad said this. Hey, let's, you know, complete what my dad said. Such a Maybe great game. Maybe we can find him. Remember, because her dad went missing? Yeah, I know. I trust yeah, me, I... that's just like the movie. It's just like the Tomb Raider movie. They changed a little bit of shits around. But that did that. Um, in the Tomb Raider movie with Alicia Vikander, they changed a little bit around, a little tiny bit, because otherwise people would be like, what the fuck? Who gives a shit? But, you know, purists ripped it, and then all of a sudden, then the newspapers got it. It's like, well, blah, blah, blah. But it's a hell of an Dude, action. If it was, if, I really if, liked if, it. If it was supposed to be purist people, and this is the funny part, oh, well, the purists ripped it. Really? If it was the purists that ripped it, she would have octagons, or she would have uh, cone-shaped <laughs> boobs. The thing is like this. <laughs> I saw the Angelina Jolie ones, and I they were okay. They were, eh. The first one was good. The first one was good. The second one, it was kind of Yeah. Bleh. See, where the reboot with Alicia Vikander, 
it was more of a suspenseful action movie, and it had me on the edge of my seat. I didn't fall asleep at all. I saw it in the theaters. I was like, holy shit, this is really good. And to be honest, I can't comment because I didn't see it. I want to see yeah, it, I saw but it. I didn't Real see quick. It. Bottom of the fifth, top of the fifth, Mets seven, Braves zip. Oh, great. They actually scored for once. All right. <laughs> but like, here's Get those the last games in. <laughs> Get those last games. Enjoy them while you can. But here's the thing. So, oh, I did watch one other movie. What's that? Because I got it on, I watched it on YouTube, the Mortal Kombat animated. Which one, the Scorpion one? Yes, the the most recent one. Oh, dude, it's really good. Oh Scorpion my are... god, it was fucking amazing. The fact that they used X-rays. Dude, I own it. It's bonkers as fuck. Yeah, John, if you get a chance, you have to watch this. It's literally, it's an animated Mortal Kombat with fatalities. Send me a link in the message. Send me a link in the message. I'll I will. It out. I watched it on YouTube as clips. So I watched the whole movie uh, as clips. I own, I own it. I own the HD version on Voodoo. Dude, it's so good. It's just, dude, the opening of Goro literally ripping Jack's arms off. And you see the fucking arm, like, inside of the arms ripping. I'm like, oh! Yeah. And, well, then, you know, they all of a sudden save him. Yeah, raid it while the tournament never started yet. Yeah. They did, they did a really good job. And you know, you want to know something funny? You know who did the movie, right? Warner Brothers. Yeah. And have you ever seen the DC animated? I know you have, but John, have you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm sorry. As much as we like DC movies, DC animated is better. is the is better than Marvel. Marvel, it's better than all of them. Their their, their animated movies are the shit. It's fucking amazing, dude. Dude, did you hear about what DC animated is about to do in October? Oh. I might uh, have. Bat- Batman, a death in the family. Yes, the interactive where movie. We choose whether Jason Todd lives or dies, and well, if you choose him to live, they rewrite the whole story and they show what would have happened. Yeah, they rewrite the story and they make him Red Hood. Well, well, that's if Jason dies. Well, no, because if- isn't Joker technically Red Hood if he lives? No. Well, ha- all right. No. If Jason lives, well, I don't know, because you don't know what happened. So I was going to say, Joker, because Joker in the comics did take over the mantle of Red Hood. No, Joker was the Red Hood. That was before, like, the vigilante Red Hood right. ever existed. Right. Jason Todd was resurrected, and he didn't know what the fuck to believe. And that was what led to uh, Under the Red Hood. Yeah. That whole story where Jason Todd became the Red Hood to strike back at the Joker. Yeah. There's one movie that I got to watch and I really... I Have you seen it yet? The um, Samurai? Batman Samurai? Yeah. It starts off good and then it falls into the same trap that all anime falls into. Which is where it overstays its welcome to fucking long. Okay, and I know you watched it. And I, John, you gotta watch this. Killing Joke. I remember reading bits of the comic book, but that was so long ago, though. Okay. Chris, what's your thoughts on the first be- of the beginning, the extra scenes they added? I have no problem with it. The only reason they did that was to make it an hour and a half. All right, no, well, besides that, the only other reason they did that was to make what happens in the killing joke to make you feel for Barbara. Because if right. somebody comes into the killing joke and all of a sudden they see him shoot Barbara, you're like, whoa, why Why is that getting at Batman so much? Why is that getting at, you know, well, like, why is that no getting one... at Batman so much? Because a lot of people will go to the killing joke and they don't know right away that Barbara Gordon's Batgirl. And they don't know, so they add that little extra scene. I mean, the sex it scene is they, what they, it is. The sex scene they could have done without. 
The sex scene was fine because the thing is, actually, in the comics, Batman did have sex with Barbara. Yeah, I just wish they actually, like, in the comic, we all know that she turned into Oracle. They really didn't establish Oracle yet. They couldn't establish Oracle. Because Oracle doesn't happen until Barbara gets shot. No, I'm saying after that whole thing. Because yeah. it ends. Because it ends there. So I was like, say, you, you, they haven't established her yet. I think they're going to establish her in the, dar- in the next uh, Batman. Well, they establish... Well, the thing is, all those things, they don't all go into each other, if you notice. Yeah, they, like the they, DC animated movies, they're all self-contained. Well, yeah, they and it's not like the comics where they kind of, or actually they retconned Oracle because now Barbara Gordon's ones, back as as Batgirl. Yeah, the only ones, the only ones they do, the only ones I think they do go with the continuity are the Justice League ones, like Justice League War, Justice League uh, Dark, and yeah, Dark, all those, like those ones, all they're in the continuity. But all the Batman ones are out of it. All the Superman ones are out of it. All the Wonder Woman ones are out of it. The Green Lantern ones are out of it. Which, if you can't find Green Lantern anymore, Green Lantern's more OP than ever. There's a new Lantern. Yeah. (laughs) They literally made a new Lantern in the comics. It's like, holy shit, how many goddamn Lanterns do you fucking need? (laughs) Well, that's a Green Lantern core. No, but... Dude, now they're. I think they're stretching a little now with their uh, lantern. What I don't even know what the new lantern is. What? They they made a new. Uh, they made a new lantern. What a new color? Yeah. Well, it makes sense. I mean, you had the black lantern death, the red lantern rage, the blue lantern, the yellow lantern, the orange lantern, the white. The White Lantern, which is all life. The Rainbow. Yeah, it, that's what it all is. No, I'm saying, like, there's actually a Rainbow Lantern. Oh, God. <laughs> You're like, I'm not even kidding about that. There's a Rainbow Lantern. All right, the LGBT Lantern. All right. Oh, God. Yeah. All I, right, all right. Anyway, but the thing is, if that's just, that's probably in a comic. Yeah. It's probably in, like, a Elseworld thing, same as, like, certain. Colors of kryptonite. Well, the, the, the question is, is the my question is with that is they're thinking about doing all that for Lantern Core the movie. So it's question is how many lanterns are they bringing in for the core? For the core, like for, for the, the movie, movie, for the movie, yeah. For the movie, they'll probably only do like the Green Lantern and. They're probably going to do the Parallax Saga, which is what they should do. Yes. Or so the, it's just going to be the Green Lantern and the Yellow Lantern. Done. That or they might do, at least, idea, they might do the Seven. They might do the Seven to do the core. Well, at at the end the of the core, movie. I'm saying at the end of the well, movie, you might get the Seven. Well, the thing is, if you're going to do the core, and you're going to do, like... Well, it's, it's going to be several movies. If you're going to do the core, and it's going to be several movies... Or if it's a TV show. Because it's a TV show, season one, the Parallax Saga. Yo, Just go right yeah. there with the Parallax oh, yeah. Saga. You know, it's going to be weird to do it. And then season two, do something else. Do not do Blackest Night until like season three or season four. Because that's when you can introduce like the Red Lanterns with Atrocitus and all that shit. I mean, you could still introduce them. But... Don't do Blackest Night until, like, season three or four. Don't, like, yeah, don't go right from the Parallax Saga. Or actually, from season one, you should start with um, the beginning of the Parallax Saga with Sinestro. Where Sinestro's a good guy, and then he turns evil, and then yep. at the end, you lock him up. Then season two, you, you have a, the real Parallax Saga where Coast City gets destroyed. And Hal goes nuts. And then he redeems himself. Or, Hal goes nuts and he becomes a Spectre and John Stewart or Kyle Rayner become the Green Lantern. I, I, I actually want, I'm actually interested if they do a Stewart. I, I like, that's when I really got into Green Lantern, is Stewart. Well, 
John Stewart probably is going to be there, but s- somewhere along the line, you got to do Ion. You uh, got to do Kyle Rayner. Yeah. I was going to say Terry Crews as uh, Cause Ky- John cause Stewart. Because Kyle Rayner. Because Kyle Rayner is like the lantern. Yeah, he's he he can actually he powers the entire core. Like he yeah, I he think doesn't he, even need a ring. No, he doesn't even need a ring. Yeah, John in the comics, this dude's so powerful. Fuck the rings, he owns everything. <laughs> like he oh, has wonderful. He's the reason why. Uh, okay, okay. Here's why I'm, because like all right, green is like willpower, right? Well, green is will. Yellow is fear. Red is yeah. rage. Indigo is love. Right, and so what? You mean blue? No, indigo. All right, blue, blue is something else. I forget what blue is. All right, so what you have with the Green Lantern? All right, willpower, right? Yep. And it's always like you can only use the construct to your imagination, your mind, right? The reason, the crazy thing about Kyle Rayner is Kyle is a professional artist, <laughs> so, his, so his mind is ridiculously out there. So whenever he constructs, so all of his constructs are like ridiculously super strong and super detailed. It's not like Hal Jordan, like I need a bat, I need a tank. No, I need no, no. Kyle I need Rayner will build like a whole city. I need a fucking city to drop in this fucker. All right, here's a question, trivia question, or uh, not trivia question, but a, a what if, or a who would win, Kyle Rayner. <laughs> or Batman with the Green Lantern, with the Green Lantern ring. Wait, Batman with a Green Lantern ring? He in the comic, Batman had the Green Lantern ring. <laughs> oh yeah, he had one. He had the Green Lantern, but I'm saying, who would win in a fight? Cause fuck it. Cause oh my god. Well, right, who would win in a fight? Um, well, first off, two people that are uh, OP. Fuck it. <laughs> the pro. All right, if it ever got to like actual fist on fist to be Batman, no problem. Yeah. But Kyle Rayner won't even let Batman touch him. Yeah. Well the question because is Because Batman too. thinks very rigidly where Kyle Rayner would just put him in a ridiculous construct of his head and then Batman would never see him. Fair. Fair enough. I just think that shit's funny. The fact that Batman can wield a Green Lantern ring, it's like Fuck you. Yeah, like, like Hal Jordan, like, oh, I'll build a wall around, I'll build a cube around you. And then Batman would just, oh, yeah, I'll take a bat, boom. Where Kyle Rayner's head will be like, I'll build a cube around you, but oh, yeah, it's also this proof, this proof, this proof, this proof. Have fun. To where a guy's trying to bash the shit out of it with everything he could possibly think of, and it doesn't work. Because Kyle Rayner has already thought of it. Yeah. That, well, that's what makes, like, Ion, Ion. Yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And that was why in the Sinestro War, like, Sinestro Core War, why Sinestro went right after Ion right away and turned it. Yeah. But, all right, do we want to get into our top ten? <laughs> we are saving this movie for a while. No, I'm asking, okay, you want to do the movie or do you want to do the top yeah, ten? Let's it's... just get through the movie real quick. Okay. You know, like It doesn't matter to me. It's just, what do you guys, it's up to you guys where you want to go. Yeah, okay, do do the movie quick and we can talk wrestling in the top ten. Because, yeah, I want to talk about Bray Wyatt. Oh, yeah, I know you do. Yeah. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, the movie of the day was Tekken. <laughs> Which, Ugh. well, dude, I'm sorry, but you look at who was in this film, maybe two actors, three actors were actually, went on to do something, one was already popular. Kelly two. Overton. Kelly Overton. She's fucking Van Helsing. Yeah, uh, oh god, the guy that played, um, Kazu, Kazuya was in Hawaii Five-0. I never could freaking pronounce Who the it. fuck watches Hawaii Five-0? Hey, it's still fun. I used to watch it. It's still on. I used to watch the reboot. The first two seasons I watched, and then I just kind of got bored of it. Yeah. And Luke... Uh, and Luke Kari Luke... Haruki Tagawa, of course, Yeah, goes on to everything. I was going to say, you want to talk about Hayachi was legitly... He was in Mortal Kombat and Tekken. Done. It's like... Yeah. 
I'm just you waiting for finish him. It has begun. <laughs> See, the only one I really knew besides Carrie was Kelly Overton because I was like, oh yeah, I remember she was in this movie. She's Van Helsing. Uh, Luke. And she's Luke like Gross. in other things too. Luke Gross was in Blade too and Hellboy. Kelly Overton was Ricky in True Blood. Yeah. There's a lot of people that went on to do a lot of stunt work. That was the thing too. A lot of these. Actors went and did stunt work after the, after these movies. Well, because a lot of martial artists in martial arts movies are stunt people. Yeah, that's like one of like core things. They of take it. a good bump. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, ask a, what is it? Statlander. Statlander's like, oh yeah, I had to do this and that. And so we had to train, like, certain, like, martial arts and kung fu or whatever. Yeah. For, for Statlander? Yeah, Statlander. She did it for, like, a little tiny bit, but then, you know, she got the wrestling gig. So she doesn't really do stunts that much anymore. Like, she does the she fall. She's injured right now, too. Yeah, well, she just got surgery. What did she have? Knee surgery, I think? Yeah. She's yeah, because she tore her ACL. Yeah, uh, she's done for another year and a half. Well, it depends. I mean, with wrestling, you can get back in and probably get... She could be back, like, by March. Yeah. Well, let me put you this way. If she's smart, she'll take it until the crowds are back, if they ever come back. Well, like, like I said before, we have to... I said before, we have to figure that we're not going to make any really big headway until next year. And that that that's my personal feeling. I hope I'm wrong. I hope we have a vaccine. I hope Fauci like like goes, you know, fast tracks it, but he makes it safe. Because that's the only vaccine I'm taking. The only vaccine I'd take is one that Fauci's like it's safe. I'm like good. Yeah, well, if his if his vaccine is anything like how he pitches, we're in trouble. <laughs> like what? How we pitch a boo. He threw out the first pitch at the net. Oh, yeah. Well, 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 hey, put it this way <laughs> Fauci is an epidemiologist. He's not a pitcher. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Yeah, <laughs> it is what. 50 cented it. <laughs> Just a bit outside. <laughs> Do Try the corner and ball. ball. Ball four. Ball eight. eight. Ball 12. <laughs> well, Fauci. The funny thing is when he said that, he's like, if, if I would have thrown that pitch out like maybe 10 years ago, it would have reached the plate, no problem. Dude, but well, the minute I, I, I saw him... Why don't I believe like that? Dude, the minute I saw him going to the rubber, I was going to be like, I was like, I'm interested. Then I saw him take like three steps forward. I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> I'm like, well, there were always... You were about to bob a buoy this shit. Well, whenever someone thinks Anthony Fauci, there will be... Three pictures that always come to mind. One is the pitch. Yeah. Two is like uh, when he's in front of the deposition committee with the smile, like where he has uh, the Washington Nationals mask like in his hand. Right. And the other and the third one, the face palm. When when Trump's saying something and he just goes. <laughs> Yeah. When he's on the side with the face palm, because like, that's the one. Because whenever they the draw him in political cartoons, too. there's a fourth picture you're neglecting to mention. When he was in the crowd at the page at the national. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. Some hey, guy, drink, him, and a woman. Damn. He's got his mask off, and they're not social distance. Yeah, but where he had. I digress. <laughs> yep. But no. So he's got yeah. a mask off, and they're not social distance. Guaranteed, he passed the test, and everybody around him passed the test. So, yeah, well, neither did it have the Cardinals or Marlins. Yeah, you know that that that's uh, a, yeah the petri dishes there. Yep. Uh, but no. So yeah. So this movie, based off the video game, which has nothing <laughs> to, loosely, <laughs> loosely. Loosely is the un- loosely Which, is like being nice about it. All right, so I will say this: it is taking the story from three, but adding the people from five. It's not the story from three. Yeah, even. It is. 
Yeah, it's the story from three because Jin doesn't get introduced until three. Yeah, but Jin Jin never. All right, the problem is Jin never grew up in the anvil. No, in but they had to make him. No, but they had to make it bullshit. But he was he had he did have a vendetta against his father. Yeah, he had a that's legit. But they had to make it seem like Hachin Kazuya. Yeah, yeah, that's but that was like okay. They just put him in a freaking. They put him in the slums. You had to make it like a. You had to make a sob story about him. The the sob story. All you had to do was basically. Well, in Tekken three, basically. June tells him that Kazuya is his dad. Right. And she was raped. And so all of a sudden, Jin goes, you know, goes wanting revenge on Kazuya and Heihachi. Yep. I mean, there was no, like, Vector Corp and Tekken no. City and all that dumb shit. No, it was, but the thing was, it, the whole opening of the, the whole corporations and the King of Iron Fist, that was legitimately the plot of the fucking movie where... The movie went to hell. That was the plot. Like the the world went to hell, and seven corporations were built. That is in the game. That is legitly a story in the game. But they took shit yeah. from like they took shit from one, three, five. The only ones they didn't take was from six and seven because they weren't out yet. <laughs> seven corporations. Like one was this because this definitely was not in three. No, it was like two. That whole story was like two. That was the reason Iron Fist was made. The other thing too about this movie, when I when I started watching it, I'm like, is this a video game movie or a softcore porn? <laughs> oh, you mean the girl he bang the guy the girl that he bangs that we never talk about? Oh, Kara. I mean, <laughs> for, I mean for God's sake, he screws he's screwing some girl in the beginning of the movie, then halfway through through he's hooking up with one of the fighters you know and I'm like okay then the other first what the first girl doesn't exist anymore no they never bring her up again they show her in the crowd but they never talk about her again yeah cause it's the anvil yeah and then he comes back to her I'm like dude what the fuck just go with Christy yeah oh time for me to go home ugh which yeah there is shit that I have issues with with this movie. But I also think it's dumb fucking fun. Alright, there there's shit. There's a lot of shit I have problems with, and this is across fighting game movies across the board. Yeah. The biggest problem with fighting game movies is number one, you have to pick one fighter's narrative and go with it. Right. And say that's your main story. Anything else? And and the biggest problem with it is eventually you're always going to have people trash it because, you know, it's not my fighter. It's not my fighter's narrative. Why'd you go with him? Blah, 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 blah. Then the other problem is, if you want sequels, like either, when you do a fight, fighting game movie, yeah. you either have to think of two things. One, you have to think of the movie and the story. Secondly, you have to think of sequel franchise. Right. And well, the problem with it is, and the biggest problem with it is, and this is the biggest problem with Mortal Kombat as a franchise, with with the story in the movie. The p biggest problem with it is, like a lot of the people, like you know, yeah, oh well, this person's gonna kill this person. You can't kill anybody. You you have to basically kill also Rans or characters that you made up. Specifically for the movie. Right. Because right. as soon as you kill somebody from the movie, or in the movie from the game, you catch hell. Well, and then if you want to bring him back, then you have, then you get into really hokey shit. And that's the biggest problem with most of these fighting game movies is like, they never I think of a Johnny franchise. Cage. And when they do, when they do think of a franchise, like there are certain characters you can always kill. Like Scorpion, you can kill because he goes back to another realm and he comes back. Sub Zero, okay. Johnny Cage, he was killed in the second one. Because oh, well, they had to kill. Okay, so the story behind that is the guy that yeah, originally he was killed in the first one. He was killed in the second one because he wanted he got out of his contract 
So they decided instead of putting a new one, we're just going to kill him. Oh, Johnny Cage? Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, Johnny Cage, they kill anyway. Johnny Cage is killed anyway in the normal story. And then they bring him back as a zombie and then they did the reboot and all that bullshit. Now, and now Johnny Cage is alive and, you know, has a yeah. debt. So, so here's the thing. There's one other person they could have killed and they could have brought back and I would have been fucking ecstatic for. And that's Bihan, a.k.a. Sub-Zero. But they, and, they, and they do kill him in the original... And they didn't announce the new... They didn't put him in the other one. Yeah, Noob Saibot. Because I'm sorry. Oh. That would have been fucking insane. They couldn't... Well, Noob really didn't have much of a story until the Deadly Alliance game right. and shit like that. Because yeah, Noob... Well, nobody knew who Noob was in Mortal Kombat 3. Yeah, nobody gave up. a shit. Yeah, Bihan was Bihan. Like, it, it, until you found out that that was Sub-Zero... That was kind of like the, oh, 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 shit. Yeah, but that's the biggest, see, the biggest problem with fighting game movies across the board is, like, when you kill someone in the game, you they're dead. And, pe and the thing is, if you want to come up with a sequel, and, oh, I want this fighter, and then you have to have some hokey shit to bring him back, or all of a sudden you're doing a prequel. I'll say this. If Tekken wanted to do sequels... Obviously, they didn't because this movie tanked. Oh, yeah, it tanked. Jin is the best person to do it because of his story through the Tekken movies where he takes over Iron Fist and goes crazy. So you could turn him into the, the hero journey into the villain that has to be stopped. The problem is, though, People, when you you start doing Tekken sequels, they want to see Heihachi, they want to see Kazuya. Right, well, Kazuya... That's what you want to see. Kazuya gets actually, legitly... If you wanted to go the actual fucking original story, Heihachi should have thrown Kazuya in a fucking volcano! <laughs> yeah, then Kazuya, you know, has the devil, all that bullshit. The devil... Well, we'll get into the devil, Jin. We'll get into the devil, Jin, because... Fuck that. I hate that shit in this movie. I really do. It's so... It, oh, see, this is... You're gonna make This is where Tekken lost me. This is where Tekken... I was like, yeah, alright, I'm gonna play Tekken. And then after a while, it's like, okay. And then I would pick up Tekken and be like, alright, I know how to do King's Rolling Death Cradle. Oh, like, dude, right, if they had King... See, okay. So, let's... Uh, let me exp let's explain this. So it opens up with Jin free running from the Jacks. By the way, look, great job on the Jacks, guys. You you literally could have just made them fucking walking robots and you didn't. They look like ninjas. They look like, yes, they do. And they even do front flips through windows. <laughs> Dude, they look like ninjas and they have like kendo masks. Yes. And, John, I wish you sent me the photo, but Jack in the game, is literally a fucking Russian-built tank. It looked like, it's hilarious how the Jacks in the movie look don't look like anything like the Jack in the game. Dude, they look like people in kendo class. With guns. With PP9s. <laughs> That's it, they have guns, but then their, their helmets... Like they basically went to a kendo class. Like, oh, yeah, can we borrow your helmets for the day? Oh, Thank you very much. The other thing is, too, is it bugs me because they call them jackhammers. I'm like, no, no, it's jack. Literally, they're called jacks. I mean, jack is supposed to look like Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, actually, he's supposed to look like Commando. Yeah, that's what he's built after, and then yeah. he's a robot. You find out he's an android. That did that when I first watched it. That did bother me because it was just like, oh god, what? How are you? Well, as soon as they said, oh, here come the jacks, I'm like, oh god, this is dumb. Um, but yeah, he's free running around the anvil, <laughs> going after piece of Tekken Tekken software that he stole. 
The Anvil. Yeah, that's definitely something I want to hit myself with watching this. The slums. <laughs> the slums. Oh, God, the fucking Anvil. Ugh. Yeah, that is stupid. That, that really is stupid. The fact, oh, yeah, we got to make Jin look like a poor a background where he's poor and he's in the slums and he's the people's champ. Like, oh, God, no. If you smell what the gin is cooking. It was just uh, more on the, yeah, Who is the king of Tekken? What is your what is your role here? It is it doesn't matter what your role is. <laughs> uh but yeah, and then you and then to make matters worse, you meet his mother, June, who by the way in the game, is one of the most powerful fucking fighters ever. Also, Jun Kazama in the game is one of the most liked yes. fighters. Oh, yeah, we're going to take I, I'm, I'm sorry, when Jun Kazama just bites <laughs> it, I'm like, really? Really? I'm, I'll be I'm right like, back. I'll I remember be right when back. I first saw I'll the game. Well, I mean, when I first saw the movie, and because one of my favorite fighters, after since she was introduced in the second one, is June. Yeah, well, June was in the first. June was in the first. She was an unlockable. Oh, well, I always liked June Kazama. Well, Ju- uh, let me rephrase that. Powerful. June was, was so- June was on the main roster in two, but you had to unlock her in one. There you go. And the funny thing is, June played a lot like uh, Pi May from Virtual Fighter. Yes. Well, that was that was the idea from the. Yeah, and and that was a lot like. And it was basically, you could fight as June if, like, you didn't have to be kick happy. Like, you just, it was like you just learned the button combinations quick. Yeah. Yeah, June you know, was a pickup, June was a pickup and play character. 5,000 flips around your fucking thing and run around your goddamn house to pull off a stupid, ridiculous uppercut with kazoo. So. Yeah, June was a good pickup and play character. Okay, I'm back. Ronnie, do you have Ron? Yeah, I know Pat Buck's on TV. Yeah. But, yeah, when she bites it, I'm just like, why? Why are you so far away from the mic all of a sudden? I'm not. I'm oh. right on it. Oh, I don't shit. sound like it. Hmm. Hold on. I'm, I'm right here, so. No, he's talking about me. Oh, I think you're talking Pat, run. You're going to get hurt. <laughs> Oh god Like That was the thing Like June Yeah when June bought it I was like Are you fucking serious? Huh. I was like What is the reason For June Cause I'm a bi- Biting it Yeah Oh to make To make it to So the flashbacks Make him more powerful It's so Dumb because June didn't even die when like Jin was fighting in three. No, June was a June literally shows up in seven <laughs> as an angel. <laughs> well, June showed up in three to rein in Jin. Yeah, and it wasn't until like I think she did die when when she actually did die that Jin went crazy. Yeah, where the devil. The devil Jin took Jin over. And came back as an angel to reign in Jin again. Yep. Which, it is one of the biggest stories in Tekken. And they tried to do it. And they did it so poorly. Yeah, all right, we're just going to have June die. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what a rocket out of nowhere. It's like, boom, boom. I'm like, Really? Yeah, it, it, I guess it was made to be like, oh, so that's how you hate Kazuya even more. But you made, but you made the movie unlikable because of that. Because it's like you were yeah, better. Off. It, no, you know and what? Then, then Jin were... has to fight martial law to get an attack, and and I'm sorry, Kung Lee looks nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's Jin. I just put up a photo of Jin. The kid that played Jin with the actual character. Yeah. And then here's Chung Lee. Oh, oh, oh here's... yeah, oh yeah. And then uh 
Jun Kazama speaks like perfect American style English, and then Jin Kazama speaks British. What? Okay. I was like, are you fucking kidding so me? He's the, like, so what made me laugh is okay, we're doing global dollars, whatever, but yet you go and get chocolate and orange and coffee. Yeah. The coffee and the orange are for mom, and the chocolate's for his woman, I guess. No, the chocolate was an aphrodisiac. All right. But, yeah, chocolate, and then, which made me laugh, though, because literally you hear your gin, you go, I'm sick of protein squares. I go, what, Pop-Tarts? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's like, I'm sick of protein rations. What, Pop-Tarts? Yeah, I'm sorry. Kung Lee looks nothing like, you know, Bruce Lee martial law. No. No. That, and that's what law was based off of. Law was based off of Bruce Lee. Yeah, Kung Lee didn't even fight like him. He fought like an MMA sand show guy. Yeah, yeah your middleweight oh. strike force champion. Well, it makes sense because Kung Lee fought sand show. So. Yeah. Chris, guess who's back in the Raw zone? Raw thing. The ninjas are back. All right, <laughs> I'm. But yeah, not it, watching it. But he ends up. But yeah, he ends up winning and becomes the people's champ. All right. That's always weird. All right, certain characters. I'm a little angry that weren't in it that they put in for Dragunov and Rojas. Okay. And like that. Yes, and I want to talk about this. Let's go. What do you got? All right. Number one, where's Paul Phoenix? Paul Phoenix actually was mentioned in it because uh, Law actually ended up beating Paul Phoenix. So yeah, was... he was mentioned in it. Um, Fox, I get who's I get who Steve Fox is. I'm like, I would have liked to see him fight. Yeah, Steve Fox is actually like you know another big fucking character in him. Yeah, in the, in the game. game. I mean, Steve Fox. I mean, the guy who played Steve Fox doesn't look like Steve Fox, but whatever. Um, all right, Paul Phoenix, he's not in it. Where the fuck is Lei Wulong? Yeah. Oh, I got one. Where the fuck? I mean, Lei Wulong is an undercover cop who's constantly investigating. You couldn't run that in there, too? Here's one. You put Yoshimitsu in there for a hot minute. Where the fuck was King? Yeah, where the fuck was King? I mean, you had Rojas in there. It's like, you could have got rid of Rojas for King. King. You could have got rid of Rojas for King. <laughs> Where the fuck is King? Where the fuck is Lei Wulong? Because that would have made something. But the thing is, see, the problem with that is Lei Wulong, that wouldn't work because Lei Wulong was before they, you know, they had the Tekken City, all that bullshit. Yeah. Lei Wulong was like when they had the corporations and he was investigating shit and taking them down. Yeah, I remember that part. And Lei Wulong was still doing it until I think it was like Tekken 4 when they actually had the shit. I don't fucking know. I mean, where the <laughs> fuck was... Uh... I, ser I seriously gave up at Tekken Tag. I was like, fuck this. Oh, I'm dude, done. Tekken Tag was, is, one of, is one of my favorites. But Tekken 3 was the game that I legitimately would... Just pump quarters into, like, nobody's business. Yeah, and you picked Eddie, and you just fucking... No, I was... I, I, dude, I hated facing Eddie. I was king. I hated facing Eddie, because that just fucking... That's where I lost all my fucking money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be, well, the thing is, if you wanted to beat Tekken... You had to You just Eddie. picked Eddie, and you slammed the fucking kick buttons like there was no tomorrow. You just slammed them in different freaking patterns and watch Eddie just like dance all over the place, like a whirl and dirt. Every time really you try to do something, that much. Dude, what? I really didn't play. I didn't play this game a hell of a lot. I grew up with Tekken. That's the thing. I grew up in the arcades with Tekken in the background. Like that was the game that I always fucking played. You know what game I played a lot of since we're talking about... Fast? I used to play Killer Instinct a lot. Yeah, KI was fucking amazing. But, like, that was the thing. Because growing up in, in arcades, Tekken 
3. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 3. Tekken 3. Like, th the games of 3 for all the big ones, except Street Fighter. Marvel Capcom, man. Whoa, Fuck. whoa, 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 whoa. Do not, do not discount the Marvel Capcom series. Oh, dude, MVC, MVC 2, Marvel Super Heroes, X-Men vs. Street Fighter? No, 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 I ain't discounting nothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Street Fighter 3 was, ugh. Stra Third Strike was good. Street Fighter 3 and Double Impact were the drizzling shits. But Street Fighter 4 was awesome. But the problem is which, Street which Fighter version? 4 wasn't in the arcade. Uh, the original was. Well, the no, the original Street Fighter Four. I mean, as soon as you had it come out on like the Xbox, Xbox, the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, and like uh, the PS Two, I think, yeah, PS Two at the time. Yeah, you didn't need it. Yeah. Or no, was it P? Was it the PS Two or no, PS Three? No, it was PS Three and Three Hundred and Sixty. Oh yeah, PS Three. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But yeah, so yeah, so you're going into Tekken City now, and you meet your fighters. Meet the fighters. Raven. Who the fuck is he? Raven. Oh yeah, yeah. he was in Tekken Tag for like a, you know, a cup of coffee. Yeah, he and then he was in five. Sergei Dragunov. I, I couldn't stand him. I'm sorry. You put the Nazi in there? Really? Even though he's Russian, not he a, a no, 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 no. I'm talking about in the game. He was a Nazi. They made him Russian in the movie. In the game, he was a Nazi. Raganov was a Nazi. Dude, go back and watch the original five. He was like a flat-out Nazi. I'm like, oh, yet yeah, you put him in the fucking game. Thank God you killed him off. Well, they put him in the game. They gave him no lines. Like, just stand here. Stand here. Do a good Your bit scenery. of like karate. Just stand there. Your scenery. <laughs> yeah, just stand there and look angry. Yeah, Rojas. When I saw Rojas, I'm like, oh, you're there just to get beat. You're a jobber. I, I was like, Rojas? Really? Rojas? I'm like, fuck out of here. I literally thought that was a dude that was just put in the movie to be in the movie. I didn't even think he was in a game. Was there a reason they had to have both Anna and Nina in the game? I mean, in the movie? Uh, TNA. Both Anna and Nina. I'm like, really? Oh, yeah, Rojas looks nothing like <laughs> Rojas in the game. <laughs> you know who was the closest? It's like, oh, hi, I'm a UFC fighter. Okay. You know who the closest to his actual character was? Eddie and yeah. Yoshimitsu. Those were the only two that were spot on to look like they were in the game. Well, Eddie, I mean, I'm black man dreads. Yeah, but you know what? To do capoeira is very hard. And the fact that he got the fighting style down perfectly, I'll give him credit. Oh, capoeira? Yeah. Yeah. The fact that that is a very hard fight style to do and to look like Eddie and to fight like Eddie, good on you. Like, he did an amazing job. Well, the thing is, Eddie looks... Well, the thing is, the look of Eddie looks like a capoeira guy. Yeah. Like, even with the t-shirt and the pants and all that, it's straight up. And then Yoshimitsu... Uh, I'm sorry, though, but... Whenever I played as Eddie in the game, I never was in the capoeira gear. I was always in, like, a... The hip hop shorts and the Jordans. What? Uh, yeah, and then you the meet basketball team. Yeah, the set his his alt his alt costume. Yeah, his alt costume, the jersey with that. And the, and the I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't want to look at some dude like in this skin tight weird. Nah, just give me the shorts and the jeans. Give me the shorts. Give me the shorts with the fucking you know red Jordans. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is Raw doing? Raw's doing MMA tonight? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. I was going to ask you about that, but I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah, but it's and then, like, now Shane O'Mac is going to do Raw Underground, where it looks like an underground fight club now. Oh, God. And then you have... That's what I'm saying, Chris. I think you might have to turn it on at 10 o'clock. 
just to see them do this shit. And then you meet Hayachi and Christine. Christ, uh, Christina? Christy. Christy. By the way, she was also another Capoeira fighter. Yeah, but they changed her to an MMA fighter. Why? Because they didn't want her to have any uh, thing with Eddie. She was literally just there to be Jin's TNA. No, she was there like... She's actually a fighter in the game, but she literally was there to be just... Oh, yeah, she's a nice... She, she's got a good body and Jin's, Jin's swooning, her, swooning her. Okay. Well, also, she was meant to be the one that sort of keeps Jin grounded. Yeah. That is supposed to be, yes. But... Like how Jin Kazama was the mom, now all of a sudden, like, Christy Montiero sort of the mom in Tekken. Yes. But, but he's, she's the mom that fucks him, so, you know. Mm. <laughs> I mean, he's not <laughs> wrong! Kind of movie now? He's not wrong! I know. Well, the mom figure, but the thing is, you know, Christy Montiero is like just this, the same age as, maybe a little bit older than Jin, because Jin's supposed to be like what, like twenty in this? Yeah, yeah. And then you have uh, Brian, who I'm not gonna lie, he does look like him. Yeah, boy, they made him. An, they made him an android. But yeah, I was gonna say, I'm like, you made him Jack. Yeah, right. Well, Brian Fury has some Android stuff. He does. He? Uh, in the later games. Not in 3. Yeah, in 3, he's just fucking brutal. It's, it's him and Paul. The, were the two also I hated fighting in 3. Those were the three fighters. Eddie, Paul, and fucking Brian. I'm like, fuck no! Oh, Brian Fury was like... The crazy thing about Brian Fury, he was so ridiculously powered... And but the thing is, like, there was a little bit of a learning curve. But after you got over the learning curve with Brian Fury, and if you knew how to fight with him, you were fucking destroying everybody. And and I'm sorry, the one that they got absolutely perfect, Hayachi. <laughs> yeah, basically they just all right, all right, Carrie, we're gonna put this wig on you, make our, make you look like a moron. They got Hayachi to a fucking T. And Carrie and Carrie, uh, Carrie Hoogie Hatagawa is looking at, right at the cameraman like, "You fucking dick!" I, I, like I left. I left Mortal Kombat three for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude, I look like an idiot. <laughs> Wait, how much are they paying me? I am Hayachi Mishima. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hey am ha- Tekken. <laughs> whoever, whoever made the design of Heihachi. When they got to the hair, what the fuck were they thinking? Ryan, they, I sent you a picture of him. I yeah, but you got the you got him as the ball. I almost wanted the side by side of of I what. I couldn't find a side by side. You know what? I'll make it a side by side. Hold up. But when they get, to, I mean, when the person designed the hair for Heihachi, what the fuck were they thinking? They weren't. No shit. Either that or they fucked up on the computer. There. I I fucking made it funny. Uh, There you go. They're like, we're ready. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. It's like, yeah, we're ready. I mean, it's almost like, all right, we have this hair. We have this hair. Uh, Yeah, yeah, we're ready to render. We're ready to render. All of a sudden, boop. Fuck, I deleted it. You know what? Fuck it. Go with it. Like he stuck his eye, stuck his finger in the socket, his eyebrows, and his hair straight, straight up. <laughs> I mean, I mean, seriously, it looks like, dude, it looks like he made love with a goddamn light socket before every fight. Well, hey, you say that, but Hayachi did have, uh, he does have electric electricity powers. That's shocking, <laughs> dude. They. Oh, I'll say God. this. They at least the yeah, characters... Yeah, you get the joke. <laughs> the characters they tried to get, they at least tried to make them look like the game. I will give them that much credit. Besides... Yeah, thank God they didn't give Kari Hukitagawa wings like that. 
Besides, um... Probably couldn't stand up straight. Besides law, <laughs> besides law, besides law, and, um... Yeah. They're like, here, they're like, here, Heihachi. Here, Carrie. We got this wig for you. He's like, dude, I look like I have fucking eagle wings. No. <laughs> Dude, what what would you rather be worried about? Your hair or your eyebrows? <laughs> Dude, the eyebrows are whatever. I mean, he's supposed to be like look like an old kung fu guy. Yeah. Well, that's originally what the whole idea of it was supposed to yeah, be. Yeah, but the hair? Oh, the hair just makes him look Dude, the hair looks like he's going to fly away. Yeah. But I, I... Yeah, so... Getting into it... I, I was mean, Kazuya and Jin have cool hair. As soon as they got the Heihachi, they're like, nah, nah, nah. We're just going to make him look like a fucking eagle. Yeah. Um, yeah, after the after Jin fights Ro, uh, what's it, Roho, he, Jobber Central, he busts yeah. his hands up so mad, and then you finally get the fucking gloves. Yeah, Who right. gives a shit? Dude, the gloves are what makes Jin. An iconic piece of uh, his costume. Uh, like that's Julia the thing. had them too. So did Paul Phoenix. Yeah, but Jin... I'm sorry, anytime I see Jin, the first thing that pops into my mind is the, is the Tekken 3 fucking opening scene where he fucking throws the gloves on and fucking lightning comes out of him. I'm like, oh... Yeah, but there was no lightning in the No, just but, fucking yeah, gloves. but yet we had a shitty devil gene. Yeah, the devil gene <gasps> was just, I want to beat the shit out of people. Yeah, oh, you! I see the vengeance. It's a curse. Shut the fuck up, Kazuya. All right, what the fuck? All right, all right. Kazuya didn't. All right, Kazuya Ian something, or I guess he has Ian some Dale. Asian descent, I, but he Ian, didn't even look it really. I, Ian Dale. Yeah, he's, uh... Oh, God, yeah, he he's... His biggest shit was Hawaii Five-0. That's literally the biggest thing he's been in lately. Yeah, we're... we're... I'm sorry, Carrie just does not look happy in that photo at all. <laughs> <laughs> he's like... See, at least when he was Shang Tsung, he had the hair, clean shave, and he was smiling. Yeah. He's like... Hey, I got. I don't. I don't look like a moron. I got pants on. It's a like bad hairdo. And it has begun. It's like yeah. it is a haircut. Bad one. <laughs> yeah, I got. Yeah, I got my pants on. I got shoes. I'm wearing rocking leather. I'm looking cool. All right, hey Hachi. All right, I gotta put this dumb gi on. Then I gotta walk around barefoot or with fucking you know. Ridiculous, stupid sandals. By the oh, way, yeah. and, and never, like a moron. And, and never then... have him fight. And never have him fucking fight. Yeah, he walks around with fucking sandals or barefoot all over the place. I'm like, all right, so he's gonna throw down anytime, right? No, nope. nope. Oh yeah, and then he also has the stupidest fucking haircut this side of Pi May. <laughs> From fucking like Kill Bill Volume Two. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, and then, then when they escape, they go and try to kill Hayachi. Which, I mean, if you stay, I'm to sorry. The end. Though, that haircut, you see those. You, if you see that haircut in an old ass like kung fu movie, you know he sucks. <laughs> or, or either that, or he, like he's ridiculously amazing and he has supernatural powers. Which in the game he does. Yeah, but <laughs> but they didn't make it like that in this. But yet they had no problem making him in Mortal Kombat look like a fucking badass. <sighs> yeah, but nobody, but nobody in Mortal Kombat has that stupid of a haircut. I'm trying to think if there is any. No. No. Kano's bald. Kano's yeah. Kano, I always thought was voiced by Lemmy. Oh God! <laughs> oh, I'm Kano, dude. I'm, I'm sorry. Like tell Kano. me he does not. Tell me he does not sound like Lemmy. 
Oasis fights. He sounds Australian, dude. Dude, I, I saw that. I'm like, you know, I'm kind of a prince myself. Trevor Goddard. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, QT. Like, and the funny thing is you never knew what King though was. And then they made him Australian in a movie, and the, the game's like, you know what? Fuck it. That works perfect. Yeah, the game, they never, they didn't give a shit. Ed Boone then all of a sudden saw that and was like, that's it. He's well, before it. Kano looked like the inconceivable guy from Princess Bride with a beard. Yeah, yeah. yes. And then when like, they actually. Inconceivable. I and, got an eye blazer. And then they decided to, then when the, then when the movie came out, Ed Boone saw that and was, I like it. We'll go with that. Yeah, he he's badass as an Australian. Fuck the small Italian guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Kano. That's the one thing I love oh, about Ed Boone. That's the one thing about Mortal Kombat that was great about Ed Boone. He, if he likes something, he goes, we'll go with that. We'll just run with it. Fuck it. It works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Sh- Kari Haruki Tagawa, Shang Tsung. That works perfect. Yeah. Oh, challenging Goro, eh? But you yeah. see, he was so good. He was so good in that. Harry, Kerry Haruki Tagawa is like, somebody go like, you know, say something from Shang Tsung. You know, he'll be like, it has begun, challenging Goro, eh? I challenge you. Probably they ask him, like, say something from Tech, and he's like, go fuck yourself. Yeah, he has, like, uh-huh. he really has, like, three lines in that, and... And yet they try to spin off to a sequel. It's like, no. Yeah, he's like, I am Heihachi Mishima. It's like, uh, no, we didn't even say that. He's like, I am Mishima Heihachi. Yeah. I'm like, ugh. I am Tekken. If anybody goes to a con and says, hey, Carrie, say something from Tekken. He's like, (laughs) fuck you. The Chuck has cleared. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Wait, what? The check yeah, has, has cleared! Has, the check <laughs> has cleared! Yeah, 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 pay me. Pay me quick. Uh, pay me, let me say a check. Alright. Oh, check, quit. the check has cleared. Cool, I am Hasha- Mishima Heihachi. Alright, now get out of here. <laughs> the what? But you need to put the haircut on. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Your it's soul! Awesome. You, you want me to put the hair on? Your soul is mine! <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's like, that's like if like when David Carradine was alive, and somebody, oh yeah, you know, put this dumb wig on, he'd probably kung fu you for real. Um, like, boom! I get the fuck out of here. But yeah, then like, they shot Raven for no reason. Oh, and Raven's gonna escape and live. Yeah, he got shot in the elbow. See, Is it? Here's the thing. Is it that's, just that's me? That's the other funny. That's the other problem. With these fighting games. Since you can't kill a guy. You have to mortally wound him. You can maim him. <laughs> but hold on. Maiming is not killing. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you, they had no issue killing Fox. Well, I was just going to say, it's the, you know what it is? I find it funny. Everybody, Jin, like, you know, looks up to as a mentor or trainer. Mother, kill. Friend, kill. I was waiting for the little blonde girl outside to get killed, too. She was about to. <laughs> The only, Christy didn't get killed. No, I'm like, Guys, well, no, I was she, she was, was waiting, waiting for it, but she was almost, she almost did because she literally got captured. Yeah, she got captured, and then she, I was like, oh god, because he's gonna kill her. Nope. Uh, but here's the thing. Okay, so yeah, and so, then the other thing is, Jin supposedly, I'm not the killer, but yet he killed Brian Fury. <laughs> and then though he didn't go crazy to kill. I mean, wait, wait. No, he stopped. I remember that. Like, Christy came down or... or yeah, didn't... No, Christy didn't come down. I he forgot killed who Brian. Came down. He killed Brian. He didn't kill Kazuya. Kazuya. Oh, he killed Kazuya. No, he oh, cut man. him. He never killed him. Dude, he no, cut he him across him. the freaking torso. They never the They never said he was dead, though. That He maimed him. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Kazuya... Blood out. All right, but yeah, th- that could be. But he and allegedly killed Yoshi Mitsu. Even though you never see him killed. But no, he, he didn't never... kill Yoshi Mitsu. Just knocked him out. Well, they said that he was almost dead. 
because the ratings went through the fucking roof. You see, that's the funny. That's the funniest shit. The funniest shit with this is the good guys like I cannot kill. I cannot kill, but I can maim this shit out of you. Yeah. And the he... thing is like this: if I'm in a martial arts movie, and a guy is gonna beat the shit out of me and maim me, dude, just fucking kill me. Uh, then what's his it's name? Like, Die. It's like, I haven't off. killed you. I didn't kill you, no, but I can't use my leg. I can't use my arm. I'm a fucking invalid for the rest of my life. Thanks <laughs> a lot. Thanks a lot, Jin. You broke. You know, basically, I, I can't use my leg. I got to be amputated here. I got to do this. So instead of you just killing me and ending my misery, no, I have to walk around in pain and suffering forever and ever and ever. Because I fought you. Fuck yeah. you, Jin. I mean, I hate that. It's like, oh, you're going to fight this crazy martial artist. Yeah, don't worry. He's not going to kill you. He's just going to maim you for life. I'm sorry. If I'm going to get, like, the shit beat out of me and broken limbs and, like, lose an eye, just fucking kill me. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's like, you get to live. Oh, thanks a lot. I, thanks a lot for, you know, this whole karate tournament where, you know, I get to live now with my broken limbs and, like, one eyeball and cracked ribs and breathing on a machine. Thanks a lot. I get to live. <laughs> I hope you feel great about yourself, you fucking dick. <laughs> uh... Shit, at least in Mortal Kombat, they put you yeah, in your fucking misery. Yeah. yeah. It's like, no, I can't kill you. I knock you out. You live. Yeah, Goro, and then Goro just kills you if you don't kill in Mortal Kombat. That's fine. Dude, if I'm going to get punched to shit by a Shokan, you think I want to live? <laughs> <laughs> well, the first punch in the chest, crack, 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 crack. Hey, those were $500 sunglasses, you asshole. Dude, the first the first Shokan punch to the chest. You're, you should be dead. The fact that anyone lives. You know, you know I'm talking about the first Shokan punch to the chest. I got ribs puncturing my lungs. Drowning in my own blood. Dude, after that part, kill me. <laughs> Shit. I mean, like that's like when you see all these like goofy 80s martial arts movies where the guys beat the shit out of the guys. Like, oh, like... Breaking bones and shit like that. No, but he'll live. I'm sorry if my back is broken and my legs are broken, my arms broken, and I got one eyeball. Kill me. Just so you can, just so you can stroke your conscience and your ego that you're not a killer. No, you're not a killer. You just make someone wish they were fucking dead. Yeah, right. Like Jesus Christ, I only. Like, I saw one where a guy, like, stole a little bit of money. I'm like, I only stole a damn purse. Don't need to maim me for life. <laughs> I mean, shit, it's a purse. But, all right, yeah, so. Sorry. <laughs> getting, getting towards the end. We'll get towards the end of the movie, yeah. But yeah, we'll, Tekken, where you maim everybody for life. So, yeah, they kill Brian and they have that. But then all of a sudden you have... They killed Kazuya. They killed Kazuya. Well, anyway, they... Well, let's just go with this first. They end up showing Gene tur Jin turning freaking evil. Quote, unquote, evil. The devil Jin shows up and it's like... He turned heel. Bro, I'm sorry. He... Yeah, you think Peter Parker emo is bad? This is worse. Wait, when did Devil Jin show up? When, when the vengeance of um, when he was fighting Kazuya. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Because there it is, the vengeance. It's eating inside you. It's the curse of the. Oh God. I'm like really? This is no. Fuck you. First off, Devil Jin don't show up until five. Fuck you. No. <laughs> Like, go to hell. And, yeah, he cuts him with an axe. By the way, in that retrospect, 
Jin should have probably been dead too because he got cut across the chest with the axe. I mean, Kazuya. Because oh, Jin, 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 Jin got. He got Jin cut got the, cut like the around chest. the arm. No, the chest. Uh, the peck. The peck. The thing is, if you get cut across the peck, it depends on how. Yeah. Sorry. It depends on how deep it goes. But if you get sliced like Kazuya got across across the chest where your small intestines and shit is, you're going to bleed out. But, um, yeah, that all happens. He kills because he doesn't want whatever. Whatever. He wins Iron Fist and <laughs> Chrissy announces him. As Jin Kazuya. I'm sorry. Does no wait, one wait, else... No, no, she said Jin Kazama. Kazama she said sorry. Jin Kazama. Kazama. I'm sorry. Did no one else hear the last name? Like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry. It's if I'm the, if Jin I'm, Kazama. If I'm in that crowd, I kind of would look to the person and I'm like, did you just say Kazama? So he's part no, of Hay- see? He's Hayachi's... Well, how's this fucking? What? Wait, he now runs. What? Wait, what the fuck does this mean? Like it's co- oh confusion. Like oh wait, there was another kid. There's another what? What? A what? Uh, uh, what? Yeah, but 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 That's people it. in Tekken don't care because you know they just want to see blood. So it's like the winner, Jin Kazama. They're like Jin, the Jin, Jin, Jin. They don't give a shit. I know is the, the, the Tekken crowd is like an old ECW crowd. <laughs> the people's choice now the people's champ dude the, all right the Tekken <laughs> crowd is like the crowd in the running man <laughs> yeah that's another thing that's another comparison i saw i saw a lot of running man in this oh yeah all right i will recommend something so there's another review of this that's really fucking funny and he rips this fucking movie apart <laughs> uh you get a chance, go watch Spoonie's review of this. Okay. He uh-huh. he pretty much is saying the same shit we are, but he actually read out a script. Okay. But he does this, and it's it's funny as hell. But, yeah. Then, it, did you stay for the... Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. So he talks about how, like, they're not killing anybody, they're just maiming them for life? Pretty much. It makes no fucking sense. It's no, I like... have to ask both of you a question. Did you stay for the end uh, credits? No. No, I gave up. Okay. I turned off. Because there is actually an end credit scene in this movie. Oh, God. They, they hit that at a sequel. What was yes, it? Yes, so it... <laughs> okay. What the... Fuck. So when they're going to kill Hayachi, they have the guy... So you know in the actual scene where Hayachi dies, they think he's dead, the, the building blows up? Yeah. Right. Well, in the second, in the alt scene, you have him on his knees going, I am Tekken. You will obey. And he puts the gun down. That's it. But he didn't say it has begun. <laughs> but in the old one, he lives. He's still alive. Which then I'm like, so, oh. so at the end of the movie, he lives. Yeah. He says, I am Tekken. You will obey. And yep. like, I am so, so where's the explosion? Yeah. I don't know. I am Tekken. You will obey. You will obey and I'll blow up that house. Wait, really? Shane literally just put like pretty much put strippers in the in this thing. Like what the That's hell? That's what I'm saying. You were a little bit of behind of in a delay, Ronnie. Yeah. But I saw that. What the fuck? I'm Perhaps sorry. Missing all that, this gold. That makes no sense. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm like, then what the fuck was the explosion for? To fuck with Kazuya? Ah, uh, they they tried to hint at a sequel. Oh. Yeah. That's like when Masters of the Universe tried to hint at a sequel. It's like, no, no, no. Oh, you like, fucked this one up too bad. 
There's dude, no yo, sequel for dude, you. Dude, you want a good sequel? You no, you want a good movie that's not Master of the Universe, but that's like Master of the Universe? Go watch Beat the Be- uh, the Beastmaster. Dude, you know what it is? I, I gotta say is it's like when he when uh, he was walking away and the building was blowing up. The first thing that came to my mind is free, 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 free. A stupid free commercial where the guy blows the shit up and walks away. <laughs> came to my mind when I first saw that was America. Fuck yeah, <laughs> dude! Like I've seen way too many of those. The funny thing with this, I get so. Oh, see here's all the right. thing. I tried no, to no, all these... right. See, I am so sick of shitty movies trying to hint at sequels. It's like, what the fuck are you hinting at? You fucked this movie up from the beginning. So what the hell kind of sequel are you hitting at? See, that was the thing. The movie was literally trying to be Tekken. It should have stayed in one direction. Was it supposed to be Tekken 3? What, what, which story were they trying to go? Because you added people in 5 that no one gave a shit about. Yeah, they, they just mishmashed people. They literally had two guys that were in 5 that died. Like, well, you know they could kill them off because nobody gave a shit. No, but but I'm like, you could have easily done other things where with that, and you still could have killed off people that were from the OG games that not many people cared about. You almost killed uh, off fucking um. What is it? You almost killed off uh, uh, Yoshimitsu. <laughs> yeah, j- just... That's the biggest problem with fighting game movies. It's like, you either have... I mean, the people... You have to kill off a couple, but the problem is if you do, then you're fucked for a sequel. Unless, like, your characters are magical. With a guy like Yoshimitsu, it's just the costume. You could say that it's it's like kind of like how Sub Zero is. There's five there, even though in the game there's two Sub Zeros. There's five Sub Zero styles that are in the Link Way. It's as long as you still have the suit, because even in every game, Yoshimitsu has how many goddamn fucking suits? Chris, turn on yeah. off for a second, please. Doesn't mean that it's the same guy. So, with something like that, like, ta- like again, same thing with, like, King or Iron King. It's two different people that it, it's under a mask. So, it could just be the moniker. What the fuck? Hey, there he goes. <laughs> you haven't seen the strippers yet. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to, you know, socially distance at all. Who are these motherfuckers? What are these? The uh, NXT graduates that flunked out? I don't know. All I know is, all right. So nobody social distancing. There's the some guys face. aren't wearing masks. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Where are you? This is like blood. Sport from fucking uh, GCW. Yeah. I mean, this, this, they've been advertising this all night. Uh, but yeah, okay. So yeah, it closes with that. Final verdict. It's a, it's still a fun fucking movie. It's a movie, again, it's another movie that you can put on in the background. Does it follow the source material of the game? If it decides to know which direction it's going, yes, but it doesn't. Would I watch it again? No. Oh, I, I, no. I, dude, I got that shit on Blu-ray. I'll watch that anytime I fucking want, because it's just stupid fun. There was something I watched, and you know, it wasn't I've definitely seen better, and I've definitely seen worse. 
to me, it was what it was, and I'd yeah. never watch it again, so. I've never gonna, you're never going to watch it again, Chris? What is your opinion? I think Chris is in a state of shock over what's on Raw. I'm just like, what the <laughs> fuck is this dumb is shit? This, is this the new faction? Like, is this going to be the new faction? It could be them against uh, the WWE now. All right, I'm going teasing, back to the Because they've been teasing about a new faction to be yeah, I mean, WWE. Could this be it? Very well, the could ball, be. Under, all right, so, all right, my 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 opinion is second. Um, what I had recommended to nobody, no. Um, does this movie suck? Yes. Um, the fighting was garbage. Um, they tried to over dramatize it and it made it dumb as fuck. Um, the biggest problem they have with villains in fighting games, especially in fighting game movies, it's like they always have to be like ridiculously crazy and psycho. And he's like, I'll, you know, because he's a, um, it's my turn now. I'm crazy and psycho. Everybody's going to fight everybody to the death. Ugh. It was so dumb. And then they kill off Jun Jin- Kazama in the opening fucking half hour of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Who, in the actual game, is a big fucking part of the story. And yeah, that's why and this so, movie bombed. So what happened to Rojas and Eddie Gordo after they got beat? Eddie Gordo, uh, I don't know where Eddie is, but I think Rojas got fucking beaten so much that he got beaten to a fucking bloody pulp. They yeah, so do they have a hospital? Do they have a hospital or something? Yeah, or what? Because, yes, they do, because remember Jin went to the uh, infirmary. Okay, so they have an infirmary there when the guys get maimed beyond recognition. Does he get his ankle broken or something? The guy who fought Jin in the first round? Rojas got his no, ankle Rojas broken. Got his ankle got broken fucking his, his knee, face broken. Ankle, knee, face. He was literally <laughs> a bloody mess. Jin didn't kill him. He just maimed him for life. You know, oh, thanks a lot, Jin. I get to live. He beat the piss out of him and made him fucked up. He made him in a wheelchair for God knows how long. He made him an invalid. <laughs> he made him a fucking invalid. I'm sorry. Next time I see Jin, I'm getting a gun. Sure. Yeah, fuck this fighting honor bullshit. No, give me a gun. Oh, by the way, that was the other thing, too. Hayachi literally saying... There is no honor in this. I go, wait, 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 wait. Are we going blood sport? Honor? <laughs> there is no honor in this. Dude, dude, you you created a city and basically fucked over a ton of people to where they have to fight for scraps. You have no honor. Shut up. Honor? You talk about honor? We have the ration protein, p- protein packs. Yes, we have to eat Pop-Tarts. Yes, we have to eat Pop Tarts all the fucking time. God, this Honor. is a this is a gaming movie. Pop Tarts and pro and fucking the only thing misplaced into this is fucking why the it should have been fucking See, cigarettes instead of <laughs> it should have been cigarettes that's instead the funny of thing. fucking orange. <laughs> you are a ridiculous tyrant, but you don't kill people. But yet in the game, and I mean like the biggest story of the game, is that he. <sighs> Kills his he allegedly because he comes back kills his son by throwing him in a fucking volcano. Oh yeah, <laughs> like come on, motherfucker kills Kazuya by throwing him in a fucking volcano. What? Yeah, but you know in this game, you know citizens of the Anvil, yes. Everybody outside Tekken City 
you know, it's all horrible and blah, 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 blah. But I am Heihachi. I don't kill anybody. I No, you're just a fucking tyrant. Which, by the way, just to go back real quick, the one thing I love about Jin was he called his ass out on it. What hero calls out the villain about what... Oh, because Hayachi's like, oh, I'm doing good. You're doing harm. No, but I think I'm doing... No, you are doing harm to the people here. But I am saving the people. Well, okay, at least then you know it's like the guy's trying to do right by what he thinks is right, but to the other person seeing it from the other side, I'm like, okay... That's at least something new when it comes to a video game movie. You don't really see that that often in that type of shit. I'm doing right. No, you're doing wrong. I'm doing right. No, you're doing wrong. Oh, I guess I'm not a big dick. No, you are a big dick. Stop being a big fucking dick. It's so dumb. Yeah, but you know what, though? Again, when do you see that... There's no honor in this. Fuck your honor. Yeah, it's blood sport all over again. That's not even... Oh, my God. It's not even blood sport. I mean... I'm sorry. I have no... Where There is no honor in this. Fuck it. Okay, Chosen. But, I lost my honor, but I bully you all the way, all the time. But, all right. So we got about another thirty minutes to an hour. Do we want to do our, Do we want to get into our top ten? Yeah, let's just get into that. We're we're not going to go too in depth. It like I said, mine aren't in order. I'm just going to read them off and. All right, we'll we'll so in honor of Doctor Stella, here are our top ten celebrity kooks. We're going way down the coot coal. Dooby 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 doo doo. Way down the coot coal. All right. All right. Uh, John, you want to start? All right. Like I said, in no particular order. Mine's in first order. Person, Mine's in order. Well, the first person, first person that I wrote down, Mel Gibson. Higher on the list. <laughs> I don't I even mean, have him on the list. Really? Mel Gibson just went not so cuckoo off the off the chains, off the you know what and everything. Well, Mel Gibson to me is not cuckoo. He's just anti-Semitic and racist. Well, he, he went, went not. Yeah, he went from zero to one hundred <laughs> real quick. Uh, yeah, Chris, you want to go or you want me to go? Number ten. Okay. Welcome to Thailand. Blah! Bjork. Oh, wow. I didn't even think of her. I didn't even think of her now. Bjork is fucking insane. Yeah. Bjork like, is nuts. You, you talked, you see her interviews that I was, I was like just all over the place. And then there's the part where she got angry, I guess. Or I guess somebody was hounding or whatever. And somebody's like, hey, Bjork, welcome to Bangkok. Or welcome to Thailand. Get out of them. Dude, she just got. Ah! She went raw underground on her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So my and, and then two. then she calmly got up after she beat the shit out of said reporter, and, and then pushed just her kid on like nothing happened. Yeah, and continued to push her baby. Yeah. All right. So my her number, kid or whatever. Yeah. So my number oh. ten. Uh, he had one incident, but he's kind of a crazy when it comes to acting and a method actor, Christian Bale. Yeah, I can believe that. Don't one. you ever talk to me that way? Yeah, he's uh, he's nuts when it comes to his acting, but when he had that freaking outburst, it's like, okay, yeah, he's he's legitly nuts too. No, that was a meltdown. It was like I forgot what was, was the, the reason lighting. why. It was the lighting because the guy got in his way because the guy was fucking up the lighting. He's probably angry as fuck because he's hot as shit in that damn Terminator outfit, in that damn, like, John Connor outfit. All right. John, number nine. All right. Like I said, no order, but the next person on my list, we're going back into the, maybe the 90s and the two early 2000s, a man by the name of Mr. Andy Dick. <laughs> Andy Dick did not make my list. 
didn't make Andy my list did. at all. I just think he's. I think it's a shtick. No, it's no, the I drugs. Just, I know. I think Andy Dick's legit nuts. It's the drugs. He's yeah. That's the drugs, and he just he's just flat out nuts to me. It's but, the drugs, but uh, you know. Yeah. But that's my number nine. Uh, my the, the next person on my list. Go ahead, Ronnie. Uh, Chris, number nine. Number nine, we're going down the anti-vax kook hole. Oh, boy. With uh, Playboy Playmate, uh, Jenny McCarthy. Okay, I didn't have her, but I knew I knew you were going there, but... Jenny Legitly was... cuckoo. Like, I don't believe in this. I don't believe it. I don't believe in vaccines, because da 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 And then she's parlayed her, I don't believe in vaccines, to, uh, what is it? I don't uh, believe in abortion. I don't believe in this. I, I, I'm just like, yo, shut put, up. She put it on Donnie. And then it's basically, uh, I didn't medicate my son and his autism is cured or something. Yeah, it, I didn't. I didn't vaccinate my son, and his autism is cured. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. ay, ay, so ay. number nine, we're going to a guy who, legitly, is probably crazy. Gary Busey. Oh, he was. A, I had whoa, him on whoa, my whoa, list. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's way up, up on my list. Okay. Yeah. Well, when until you when you hear my list, you'll know why he is at my number nine. I think you have a horrible list already. No, no, you don't know the rest of my list. It, yeah, well, that's one off of my list. Nine, and now I'm going to take. Now I'm going to take an honor up one of my honorable mentions. I'm going to put him in the spot. This goosey has been taken now. It doesn't really matter. It's it's the list. It's not. It's how you have the list. Like that's right. why we said higher on our list because you took one of mine and I'm not replacing them. I'm, okay. I'm sorry, Gary Busey is like Gary Busey. If the cuckoo tree, if there, if a cuckoo tree had a look, it's fucking Gary Busey. Look with his weird, ridiculous smile. I'm Gary Busey on a bender. <laughs> Gary Busey, I don't even know if the drugs are even a part of it anymore. I think ever since he crashed his motorcycle, he went way off the chain. Dude, dude. <laughs> I mean, all you got to do is look at Gary Busey on the surreal life, and you're like, holy shit. Oh, yeah. But, all right, John, number nine, uh, number eight. All right, another another celebrity slash I don't know what the hell. This this young lady went way off. We started off good, then what the hell happened? Amanda Vines. Yeah, uh, I was, I, I not had, on my list. No, nah, she's not on my list. I, I was thinking about her, but no. You know, I mean, with the wig and uh, well, they're going she crazy. From, she went from posing in her underwear on Maxim to having a wig and smearing lipstick on her face in the course of a year. Yeah, so she, she something went... Yeah, she, something, something went wrong, but... Her wiring went done crazy. <laughs> All right, Chris, number eight. Number eight, uh, we go to, uh, let me see, anti-vaccine, conspiracy theory all over the place. But he's winning, Charlie Sheen. Higher Charlie Sheen was on my list. Higher there. on my list. See, Charlie Sheen has been a lot of drugs and shit like that. That's why I put him there. Because as when you see the kooks I got coming up, you're gonna be like, holy shit. Okay. You want me to uh, so uh, is it my turn again? No, it's, or it's no? me. It's me. My number eight. He took my money. I'm in need. Kanye. Kanye. Oh god. Well Kanye He's basically Kanye just says dumb shit. No, Kanye early in his Early in the years was nuts. He was bad no, and crazy. Before everyone started blaming it on his bipolar. Well, with, with uh, what when he said that George Bush doesn't like black people. Not just that. I mean, I mean, remember too. He also did the whole. Oh, I'm gonna run in 2020 for president. Well, Kanye in. 
Well, the thing is, Kanye, where he's from and all that, I mean, he'd always believed in a bunch of weird conspiracy theories. But, like, he's just, he is out there, too. Kanye's a little out there. Yeah, but I think, I think you, you messed up at one part, so. Well, this is why it's my list. Yeah, I know. But and I can criticize. Yes, and so can I, because I know if you go if you go political, I can criticize you real quick. <laughs> I'm not going political. John, number seven. The next person we've already discussed it was uh, Gary Busey. Yep. So I mean, what else can you say? I mean, what what else can we say about Gary Busey that we've already haven't said already? The man's just nuts. The dude is ridiculously nuts. <laughs> like, right. First example I can up. say is, do you, did you either one of you watch the um, that wrestling thing that was uh, Legends House? Yeah. Yeah. And he was on there, and they're like, who the hell is this lunatic? <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, that's when he starts making up his own characters and own religion. You're just like, no wonder you don't see him and his son together. His son wants to stay far away from him. <laughs> yeah, and, and it continues. Yeah, he hasn't gotten any better. In fact, yeah. he's gotten worse. Um, Chris, before you do yours, this is where I have Charlie Sheen. All right. So, number seven. Oh, for me? Yeah. Faye Dunaway. Okay, yeah, fair. <laughs> Faye yeah, Dunaway, the my list. stories... The stories about her on set and then her stalking afterwards. <laughs> yeah, Faye is uh, nuts. Got a funny story about Faye Dunaway. There's a, um, did you, either one of you ever watch the movie The Towering Inferno? Yes. Yeah. I, uh, I bought the Blu-ray for that. It's a big deluxe edition. It's got a whole bunch of documentaries on it and stuff like that. There was a time when Faye Dunaway was showing up late to set. Uh, every day of shooting, she was showing up late. Uh, what's his name? Um, Charlton, not Charlton Heston. Um, what is I forget the, this um, this one older actor. I can't think of his name. He's Hollywood royalty. He was playing the he played the father of uh, somebody in the movie. Goes. The next time you show up late, I'm gonna make I'm gonna I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make an example out of your ass. He said something along to those lines. You know, every day since then she showed up an hour early. Because she was terrified of this guy. Oh, of what he could do to her career. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but that's not the first time I've heard oh, Faye Dunaway. Oh, he, he, here here's why Faye Dunaway. Um, she's notorious for blacking out on anyone in the service industry. That doesn't give her the best service. Um, she also isn't above thugging journalists, should they say, God forbid, not stick to her script. She left a hilariously batshit crazy string of voicemails for her biographer's producer, redundantly railing on the poor guy for asking too many questions about her joint. Her Joan Crawford flop, Mommy Dearest. Uh, what is it? A Guardian reporter who brought up Roman Polanski was unceremoniously shown the door in frantic, shrieking fashion. And, uh... Oh, yeah, she also rolled the window down through a coffee cup full of liquid in Roman Polanski's face, rolled the window back up, bathroom break achieved. <laughs> Uh, but John, number six. All right, uh, we're gonna go really. We're gonna really go. I, I'm sure this gentleman is on your list somewhere. Alec Baldwin. Nope. Nope. You want to talk about a guy who's really dare I dare I bring up the time when he left his daughter some weird ass voicemails? Yep. <laughs> oh, he's he's in the Marty Jannetty realm. No, he's 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 in the hassle the hall realm. But the thing is, like, I don't call that nuts. I just call it drugs. Mm. Oh, breakdowns, drugs. You could factor it in on anything. 
Yeah. All right. Chris, number six. Number six? Number six. Uh, uh, let me see. He's banned from for life from Letterman. Oh. Crispin Glover. Oh, God. I, I forgot about him. <laughs> well, oh, God, that, then him. there's other shit he did, too. Um, it, It's the Letterman shit, but then also... Oh, God. What else has he done? I, oh, shit. The craziness of Crispin Glover. <laughs> yeah, Crispin Glover is like... Hence why I always say, if Crispin Glover is going to play a villain, motherfucker needs to play the Joker. Oh, God, I'd be afraid. He, he might actually literally do something. Him or... <laughs> him or... And he might be on someone's list. Don't say it if he is. Will the phone. That's what we were... I was so afraid when I found out Crispin Glover, Crispin Glover was going to be... Uh, how do I put it? When Crispin Glover was going to be Montag the Magnificent from Wizard of Gore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? Dude, um, him and... Uh, what was the fucking... Uh, Willard. Him and Willard. Yeah, the Rat King. Yeah, the Rat King. Like, bro, like, that's made for him. The best... And I mean, even for, like, kid movies, like, kiddish movies, him as a creepy tall thin man. And Charlie's Angels. Um, what, are they, what are they doing on Raw now? I don't know. I'm on the delay. Remember that. I um, I have the Sixers on. But um, open, we hang on. But all right. So yeah. So Crispin Glover. Yeah, what? Crispin Glover. Apparently, he interviewed, or he uh, was a director of some movie, and just weird bat shit stuff. <laughs> he starts doing karate kicks and almost kicks Letterman in the head. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm saying when he's a, oh my god, Crispin Glover when he did the other shit he did. It's just fucking bat shit. I'm just like, because first the karate thing was like, alright, he's just method acting. And then he had these other weird things and I'm just like, uh-huh. Yeah. Alright. Number six. Number six. Singer, actress, loosely saying that, Britney Spears. I had her as an honorable mention on my list. See, I have Britney as, like, just drugs. No, dude, she had a mental fucking breakdown with the, uh, with the whole, um, after K-Fed and all that. Yeah, she yeah, so her she head. in the bathroom barefoot, okay. Well, no, not even that. Dude, her shaving her head and that type of shit. I mean, yeah. you could. I mean, there are tons of women right now that are shaving their heads because of COVID. So. No, but I'm talking about more like she went. She was one of the first celebrities that was out there that went like batshit fucking crazy real fast. Of like the the like the Mickey Mouse Club era, like that whole era, like the Amanda Bynes, Lindsay Lohan's, people like that. See, a lot of those were drugs, and they also didn't know what to do. Now. I mean, she doesn't make my list. Right. Ne Brittany doesn't. But the person I'm mentioning that I think would be closer on my list would be Courtney Love. She was an honorable mention. She was an honorable mention for me. See, yeah, Courtney Love, Love is Courtney bat was batshit shit. crazy, too. Courtney Love is batshit crazy. No, see, where Drew, Brittany, like, oh, it's like the breakup and this and that and fame. No, Courtney Love was batshit before she met Kurt Cobain, and, and she's, she's still, still batshit. Bat crazy, yeah. And she's ridiculously batshit now. <laughs> that was that was before the drugs. I mean, I mean, the only thing that ha has kept Courtney Love sane is now she has a kid. Yeah, and her kid is getting a little on the nuts on cuckoo side too. <laughs> I mean, come on. She's the kid of Courtney Love and Kurt Cobain. What do you expect? Yeah, the nuts so the nut tree didn't fall. You know, the nuts so didn't fall from the cuckoo tree. Yeah, see, for Britney Spears, you know, like she's she's calmed it all down. She's like, I'm mom Britney now. Like, you know. No, she just passed that off to her sister. She's like, it's Britney, bitch. That's all she does. All she does is it's Britney, bitch. Now, now she's as crazy as Christina Aguilera, which is not crazy, not crazy at all. At all. No, Chris, I was thinking about Aguilera because she had that stick where she was going more what, slutty. What, Xtina? 
Yeah, but I was. Yeah, that's not that crazy. was all done for like record sales. I was gonna say that wasn't crazy. That was just slutty for an image. Yeah, and Britney basically, I think it was like she was depressed in her life and all that shit. She needed to get rid of it, and she she shaved her head, but then she got rid of it because she went out of the public eye. So it is what it is. Where I, where Courtney Love is batshit nuts in the public eye. Uh, all right. John, number five. The All right, hold on. Give me a second here. Okay. This 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 lady, uh, Chris, you'll probably think she's not nuts, but I think she's totally nuts. Paris Hilton. I was, Paris Hilton? I, I, Paris Hilton. I, I, not on my list, and I didn't think she was really that nuts. I, no. Nah. Oh, no. To me, I still think, I still think she is like, I'm hot. No, she's a ditzy blonde like, that made like, a That's hot. Ditzy and dumb and... I don't know. That This is my list, so... Right. No, 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 no. I get you. Uh, I, I'm, all right. Yes. Chris, your number five. My number... F- my number five? Yep. Do it! Higher on my list. Same here. Yeah. Shia LaBeouf. Dude, I have, I have Shia at... Five because after number five we get really crazy. Higher on my list. Yep. Me too. My number First. five. Duck from any fucking phones. We got Russell Crowe. Oh god. <laughs> he, it's, Russell Crowe just drinks a lot. He's fucking crazy though. He is, dude. He yeah. The drinking comes from fighting. But or the fighting comes from drinking. But oh, 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 where 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 he had an extra that he wanted on the set, and yeah. then he said, "All right, hold on, I can't get you on the set." And then he called the guy and basically said, "I'll fucking kick your ass if you don't put him on the set." Yeah, like, all then, right, dude. And then him getting arrested by throwing a fucking rot- uh oh god a rotary phone at somebody at a fucking bellhop's head. <laughs> I mean, it is. I'm again alcohol. I mean, because I have a story. Doesn't matter how. Doesn't matter well, have... how he gets crazy. He's fucking crazy, though. Well, I used to think that he was crazy, and then I had a story. Then I actually had a story from David Starr, who actually was on set with him in Noah. And he's like, Russell Crowe was really cool. I mean, he's drunk, and then he invited people to his trailer to smoke weed. That doesn't seem crazy to me. So. Uh... It is. I don't know. Uh, John, you you're up. You're four. Uh, okay. Now this one you could definitely. See. I know both of you probably have her on your list. Lindsay Lohan. Nope. 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 Really? Uh, drugs. Same. It's drugs. drugs and fame. Drugs and fame. Same shit but over at and the same over. Same time too. For her, it was also her being young. I mean, started. she's a train wreck. But that doesn't mean she's crazy. Yeah, I yeah, I don't have her as crazy. So now the Viking Raiders are part of this thing now? Oh, I, don't I don't know. I don't... Honestly, this is kind of stupid. This is kind of like a new version of uh, Brawl for All. <laughs> yeah, now it is. is. Is Vince Russo running this shit? <laughs> uh, all right. Chris, uh, you're number four. All right, um... According to this guy, there's a group called Star Whackers, an evil Hollywood Illuminati dead set on thwarting his success, who began stealing his money in 1983. He and Evie believe the Star Whackers used a fake name to set up a trust fund and funnel money. This, of course, is Randy Quaid. Higher on my list. I didn't have Randy Quaid, surprisingly. Randy Higher. Quaid is fucking batshit. Higher. He, he, he has just gone. Like, he went from comedy to making, like, these weird low budget movies and just nutty as fuck. Yeah. Higher. Like, on the my Star list. Whackers thing. I was like, yeah, whoa. Yeah, I was going to say, I knew where you were going with that. That's why I was like, shit. He took another one off of mine. And and then she began. Then his wife began sending rude emails to producers filming rehearsals, and sent naked pictures of herself holding a gun to several members of the crew. Dude, dude, Randy Quaid making a sex tape 
with his wife having a producer's head, the producer's face over her face. Yes, Randy Quaid and his wife, Evie. Yes, like that alone was there. Yes, they, they are ridiculously nutty. Yeah. I mean, look at Randy Quaid, like how he was all clean shaven and then he came look like Santa Claus and shit. And he wanted to flee to Canada and shit. Yeah, they flee to Canada as they're afraid of the Star Whackers. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, uh, all right. Yeah, four. This is where I have Gibson. This is where I have Mel. Uh. So, John, number three. Uh, we've already discussed him earlier in the day. De- just discussed Shia LaBeouf. Again, higher on my list. Chris. Chris, Real? number three. I, I had him at five. It was a beginning. No, I'm saying number yeah, number three, three. Nick Cage. I had Nick Cage on here, but I took him off for Charlie Sheen. See, I can't. Nick Cage is just fucking insane. See, here's the thing. Nick Cage is kind of like Christian Bale, where he's he's nuts enough that it's more his acting that's crazy, not him. No, it's Nicolas Cage. <laughs> well, it is Nicolas Cage. I mean, yeah, he keeps his nose out of the news, but when you actually all the shit he believes, oh god. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we're 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 near Scientology here. Yeah, that's <laughs> This is We already I'm... said we no Tom Cruise. Don't worry, Tom Cruise ain't on any Yeah, ba- all right. All right, Nick Cage, here's why. This is the same guy all right, blah, 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 blah. And then the certified snoozers like Bangkok Dangerous Next Trespass. There's a 50-50 chance each film that will sleepwalk through it over or overact. Every line reading comes up. Put As a personal life, well, he likes to purchase rare dinosaur skulls in his downtime. Has a pyramid prepared for his body to rest after his death. Dresses crazy style, has more... Co- has more than a couple classic sloppy drunk embarrassments, and he only eats animals that he deems have dignified sex. So pigs are out. Put the and then there's in. his youngest son named after Superman. That's right, Kal El Cage. Yep, and he's got a uh, Green Lantern and he's got a Ghost Rider tattoo. So him playing Ghost Rider was a fit. But just think about that. He only eats animals that he deems have dignified sex. That that is that is a little bad shit. Oh yeah, it's a little. It definitely is bad shit. No, not saying that it is, and I agree. I had him as a bat as bad shit crazy. That's not no ifs ands or buts about that. But yeah, so my number three, the most famous breakdown in history, where she showed up in nothing but a towel on T. L. Nick Cannon's ex-wife, Mariah Carey. Ah, I wouldn't have thought of Mariah Carey for that. Dude, Mariah Carey is fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Ah. Yeah, she is, but I mean, I don't know if I'd have, I didn't think about putting her on the list. I don't think she's cuckoo, because I think after she got out of... Uh... The Tommy Iommi thing from Tommy Boy, who basically was like, you have to be like this, like that. She sort of was like, I got to flaunt it now. I can be sexual. And she's just decided to be ridiculously sexual. The fact that she showed up, like the, the thing was, though, she showed up the TRL unannounced. Okay. And nothing but a towel. That that goes with the I can be sexual thing. I, but you, you got to go back and watch it. It's on YouTube. It something something was off. Not that wasn't right. just sexual. Something was not right in her brain. Well, number one, um, if somebody, I guarantee she just wasn't unannounced. 
because you can't show up to a set unannounced, especially with a bunch of people like that. They will keep you off. In two th- in two thousand, this was before all they that security. This, this this was before all that security. They still have security, no matter what. When you're doing a TV show, especially like that with a live crowd and all that, come on, it's a close. It's Mariah it's Carey. Set. You really think you're gonna stop Mariah Carey? Well, and, first, well, first gonna be was, like, what the hell? If they see her, if they see, if they think that she's unsafe, they're just be like, no, go away. Dude, go back and watch old TRLs. They just let shit fly. With Carson Daly, they just let shit fly. Supposedly. Mm, here or there, they they let shit go. They they went with they went some weird shit. I mean, DeBrat with a see through bra, and her showing her tits on live television. That was yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, it's like her like I want to be sexual. Okay. Yeah, but no, there was other stuff that Mariah Carey did that was just. That ended up being fucking batshit crazy. And this this was around, like, Glitter when she was doing, like, that type of shit. Oh, when she was doing drugs. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. See, that... See, I don't consider drugs... I think it doesn't crazy. matter. Here's the thing. To me, my definition of crazy is what do you do? Because I know there's a lot of people that do drugs that are not crazy. But it's what Yeah, you and that, do they do the is, drugs. And then they, they do the drugs... And they do dumb, crazy shit. I mean, I could have put Martin Lawrence on this list because of how many crazy shit he's done with drugs. Well, but Lawrence, I didn't yeah. do it because I was like, oh, well, it's drugs. Well, all right. So, yeah. So, all right. Number two. Number two for me, we've already discussed him. Uh, it's a winning choice, but uh, Charlie Sheen. All right. Chris, you're number two. Sean Young. Okay, yeah, I had him on my honorable mentions. Not him, that's her. Her. The chick that was in Ace Ventura. Right, sorry. Sean Young, uh, hell on Wall Street set, jealous that she was only playing Gordon Gecko's wife instead of Daryl Hannah's flashier role and walked off with her entire wardrobe at the end of the shooting as a consolation. And depending on who's telling the story, she once obsessively stalked James Woods after their late 80s romance ended. She's she was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs too. She's ridiculous. Yeah, number two Ironic. for me. This is why I have Win- Randy Quaid. Ah, uh, Quaid is just a fucking nut job. Yeah. And your number one, John. My number one came in like a wrecking ball. Miley Cyrus. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's crazy. Uh, she's she's nuts. But can you? Oh tr- come on, dude! Wait, you wait, can't wait, wait, tell wait, me. Drugs. No, wait, nuts. wait, 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 drugs. wait, 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 wait. Drugs. But here's the thing: can you call that nuts or a phase? It was no, a I phase. It nuts. <laughs> it's phase because she's like completely like reined in now. Because that was right after him. Well, yes, yeah, because she can't do any of public appearances. So, well, well, no, that was also right after. That whole thing also came off right after Hannah Montana. So that was yeah. more of her image. That was almost like Christina Aguilera. I'm not saying you're wrong. She was nuts. But that was like almost like how Christina Aguilera was, where she had to turn everything up to 11. But no, it's just, I'm sorry. You know, the whole grinding uh, Robin Thicke on stage, you know, sitting naked on a wrecking ball. I mean... Well, it's a a music video. I mean, you can be naked on a wrecking ball on a music video. I mean, she's trying to be sexual. I mean, come on. And it's also, yeah. The memes that came out of that, Hulk Hogan naked on a wrecking ball. Yeah, well, still. But I mean, I'm sorry. In my eyes... Which, by the way, honorable mention for Hulk fucking Hogan. Oh, God. (laughs) Sure. All right, now what's your, uh, Chris, your number one? Oh, God. They're th- he yelled at an 11-year-old. He got in a <laughs> fist fight over the design of heaven. Again, he got in a fist fight over the design of heaven. He kicked the lead actor, Piranha 3D, in the stomach. 
He sprays interviewers with hoses. He has his own prayer hour for some reason. I mean, he goes nuts on... It's Gary Busey! (laughs) It's not even a question. His motivational speeches, like... The sail on your boat of life. The ocean is a spirit. The ocean is your imagination. The ocean is your power. The ocean is your emotion. The sail on the boat is the golden rule. The wind that catches the sail and pushes the boat onto into a lovely sunset of a tropical design with a double rainbow. That wind is your spirit. So, okay. Honorable me- for me. Honorable mention. Besides Hulk Hogan. Courtney Love. Uh, Jack. For, Jack. Yeah, Nick uh, Nicholson. Oh, okay. Mm. For YouTubers and that Ninja. If uh, Ninja is an interesting one because this motherfucker literally called out people for saying that they're not rich enough to get on his level about where this dude plays nothing but video games. And is making seven figures. Okay. Um. My honorable mentions: I had Courtney Love, Britney Spears, Dennis Rodman. All right. So wait, wait. Who is your number one again, no, Ronnie? My number one. I haven't said it yet. Is Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry, do it? Or a guy who gets in a fist fight over the design of heaven? No, Shia, no, Shia was not just that. Shia for, after even Steven went off the air, that motherfucker went batshit crazy. I mean, I also had Gary, not Gary BC, I had, um, oh, fuck. Uh, Partridge Family, Redhead. Danny Bonaduce. I had him on an Danny honorable Bonaduce. mention. Danny I had him on an honorable mention, too. Oh, uh, one See, other I, honorable I mention had I had more... on my list was Mike Tyson was another honorable mention on my list. But Tyson was an athlete. So, it's still, he, was, he, did, he technically was in a movie. He was in The Hangover. So technically, mm-hmm. he did act, so. See, like, oh, what was another one I was thinking? Because you had, oh, Laura Preppen. Oh, yeah. Scientology. Danny John Masterson. Travolta. Danny Masterson. Yeah, Prepon. Uh, John Travolta, Scientology. Anybody who's a Scientologist is fucking ridiculously insane. Danny Masterson. Oh, he's, there you go. Yeah, there's oh, I got one that's not a Scientologist, but is in that same realm. Ashton Kutcher. Nobody mentioned Ashton Kutcher. Because I don't think he's insane. Yeah, he's not that. Well, I'm not saying he's insane, but he's definitely not all there. (laughs) I don't think he's all there, but. I I mean, I think he's pretty much there. I mean, he's married. Um, Literally, Jackie and Kelso got married. Yeah. Yeah. He's married to fucking. um, Mila Kunis. Yeah, Mila Kunis. And he produces a lot of shows now. He doesn't act anymore. Yeah. No, the last thing he did, he does act. He just, uh, the last thing he did was The Ranch. Right, and because he produced it. Yeah. Yeah, him and Masterson actually produced it until they fired him because of the whole sexual allegation, supposedly. Well. And he's hey. a Scientologist, too. Masterson. Like I said, Scientologist. But, but. I'm sorry, a guy who got in a fist fight over the design of heaven. Okay, we get I, it. I have Busey on my list. He is nuts. So do I. Yeah. We, all, we all agree Busey's nuts. We just don't put him in the same order. We didn't put him yeah. in the same order. But we all are in agreement. See, the funny Busey's thing nuts. is, like, as soon as soon as like you said no Tom Cruise for number one, I was like, Busey, right away. Well, you that was the last I think, week. I think I can basically, I think it's honest to say we would all come up with Tom Cruise being number one is nuts. I think we'd all agree that would be I, a great, that was just too easy. 
I think I'd actually have him number two. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> I, well, I have. I, I Busey think, has I, so much of a history. I'm just like, holy shit. I mean, I look at Cruz getting into it with uh, Matt Lauer on the Today Show. Dude, it's oh, that, uh, <laughs> that shit crazy. Him him uh, when he got he got into it with Shields. You know, oh so God, what did he say to Matt Lauer? Somebody what did, did he... Lauer prank on him and he got all pissed off? What did he say to Matt Lauer? He said, you don't know. I forget what it was. It's like, you don't know what you're talking about. You, you don't, don't know. know you don't know religion. Kind of I know religion. Or some shit. Something, something stupid like that. But I mean, it's just like he's. Nuts. He's cuckoo. I mean, there's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And then there's Tom Cruise. <coughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, so all, I, like all I know is I've just seen so many interviews with Busey. He's got to be a nut. I yeah, oh yeah. Well, I've seen I've seen so many interviews with Busey where they just talk, and you're just like, holy fuck, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> that was perfect fucking timing. Yeah, because it was just like. Shake Milton actually made a shot, so it's like 131 to 30 with 6.1 seconds left. Now they just have to guard. Now, oh, last one too, honorable mention, Jesse Ventura. I don't think Jesse's nuts. Oh, thermite paint. He just hosted a show about conspiracy. That doesn't mean he believes them. No, he, he's, dude, he's nuts. He's, he's I, I, You know he's what? Little, I respect this. I respect his opinion. I, I don't mind Jesse. I don't mind. I got I don't I that one I'm not I'm not sold on that one. Neither am I. Because Jesse Ventura oh my God, you and I actually agree on something, Chris. Well, he was a good governor of Minnesota and then he had the conspiracy theory show just hosting a show. Yeah. Uh all right. So before we wrap this up, let's take the next like ten minutes and talk SmackDown. There's only really one thing I oh, want to talk before about. Before we go, do you want, Chris, do you want to announce your movie for next week? Oh, you guys have to pick? Just pick a movie, Chris. No. <laughs> what's the what's the what's the director's? Godfrey Hall. I don't know these directors, I'll so I don't it. know. I'll pick it. That's the fun. Godfrey Hall. Menachem Golan. Jerry P. Jacobs. Kelly Macon, Steve Cohen. All right, give me Kelly Macon. Kelly Macon? Yep. All right, you're watching uh, Cynthia Rothrock with uh, Jalal Murky and Bolo Young in Tiger Claws. Tiger Claws? Where is that on? What's it on? It's on Amazon Prime. Cool. Send the name to in, uh, in, in, the, in the chat so I know, because I'm not going to remember that. All right, All right. Um, Amazon Prime Tiger Claws. Because the other ones, Godfrey Hall would have been undefeatable, which is Godfrey Hall is basically the American name for Godfrey, Godfrey Ho. Yeah, they tried to do that one. Um, I'm pretty sure you saw the final fight of Undefeatable. It's called like with a fun, the greatest fight ever. You ever see that one, Ronnie? Yeah, I saw it. Like, be seeing you, Stingray. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. The, the whole movie is ridiculous. Um, Menachem Golan, you would have been watching The Apple. You're welcome, uh, John. I've never seen it, and I probably never will watch the it. The world's though. worst musical. Yep. Jerry P. Jacobs, you would have been seeing... Corey Feldman as a dangerous, no, as an angry, murdering karate guy oh, in a dangerous place. Appar yeah, it's like the karate kid with murder. And Steve Cohen would have been another Cynthia Rothrock movie in uh, Martial Law. Yeah, I kind of figured you were going with that. And Undefeatable was uh, Cynthia Rothrock and um, some other dude. And, oh, Dion Seam, who played Stingray with the sweetest mullet ever. My God. I mean, that would have been like the whitest of white guy karate. <laughs> yeah. 
But, all right, so yeah, let's take the last 10 minutes before we wrap this up and just talk the main part of SmackDown. I didn't even watch SmackDown, so I'm going to go by what you're saying. I, yeah, I saw it. Oh, good. What was your opinion on that? Um, so, okay, so to, to bring John up to speed, Alexa Bliss, I saw- uh, they had the whole match with uh, Bailey and um, Sarah. Nikki Cross. Uh, Nikki Cross, thank you. Uh, Nikki lost. Okay. Uh, but they left. They had a shoving match in the ring, and um, Alexa's in the ring, and all of a sudden, the lights go out, and out comes the Fiend. Well, the lights go out, she goes down, and the Fiend. I and saw that, you know what, during Raw, they were showing a trailer for Friday night, and I saw a picture of the Fiend putting uh, the mandible claw on Alexa. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that, that I saw the I saw the picture of it in the video, but that's the big thing. It's not the fact that they did this. Not I actually heard no one bitching about it. Just I want to know is what were your what was your thoughts on it? Like what do you think they're leading into with this? They're gonna make she. They're gonna brainwash her into being Sister Abigail. I don't to think you get that. to Braun Strowman. Unfortunately, I, think that's I don't they, I don't think they're doing that. I hope she's not Sister Abigail. I just I hope she's like Sister Bliss or something. Just yeah, be done with it. Or just Twisted Bliss. Or no, not Twisted Bliss. That'd be so dumb. That's, that's Sister been, Bliss is fine. I've been seeing that Twisted shit on, Bliss is her goddamn move. Dude, I've been seeing that shit on fucking online. Like literally, people have been posting that shit after the uh, swap match. See, Sister Bliss is fine. If they call her Twisted Bliss, it'd be so fucking stupid because that's the name of her moon salt. Yeah. Yeah. Because she actually does a twist in the air. I know. Mm. I, I know. But, yeah, so they're, they have that, and then... Yeah, you're getting all that, and it's just interesting to see where they're going to take this because it was kind of a weird thing that they brought... I mean, yeah, because they're going through Braun's past. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, we're going here. Let's see how far down this rabbit hole we're going. Well, chances are they might make Braun, they might turn Braun heel, put him back in the Wyatt family. Nah, I don't think they're going to go that route. They're going to give Bray the title, you think? I still think, I still think my idea is what they're going to do. I think they're going to, they're going to do the brainwashing of Alexa and make her a member of his the why of uh, Sister Abigail and Braun's got to save her from that. And I still think that's what they're gonna go with it, but that's my opinion. I hope they just make her Sister Bliss and get don't do the don't personify Sister Abigail because Abigail right now is a damn doll. Yeah. The like, only way that would even makes sense is if like Bray Wyatt takes the spirit of Abigail and puts it in bliss. That's what I'm talking about. Then then we're getting ridiculous. Like I mean, I I know like wrestling is weird anyway, but then we're getting like to overly ridiculousness. I mean, now we're getting into like Papa Shango setting a guy's boots on fire ridiculous. Yeah, but yeah, no, I brought up yeah. Papa Shango. Yeah, fucking Ultimate Warrior puking pea soup. <laughs> Dude, the best one is still when he's like, oh, blah, 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 blah. and then the jobber all of a sudden is laying in the middle of the ring with his boots on fire. It's like, oh my god! <laughs> in fact, they're showing the clip of it right now of Bliss and Wyatt. Yeah. yeah, but that's that's what I'm seeing. Like, if they do that, that's great. You're gonna see that down the road. Oh, I'm just that that's like the big thing. Other than that, SmackDown was bleh. Because that would be ridiculous because they were hinting at Nikki Cross turning heel to have Bliss turn like that kind of heel. Not not the bitch heel she usually is, but that kind of heel. Yeah. That would be something different. Yeah. Oh yeah, if they did that, that would be cuz you need to make her character different. She's kind of been just st- at a standstill right now. 
and if anything, Bliss, like, not being the bitch and be like, that'd be, she's always up for that challenge, and now she'd be, like, a horror-type character. Yeah. If she comes out with black hair, you know something's going on. Yeah, oh, definitely. I mean, you all of a sudden, like, black streaks and bleh. Like, that'd be cool. What would be nice is, yeah, exactly. I was just about to say, almost like how, all right, I'm going a little indies on this one. How Leo did his character change down, like, when he was leaving CZW? Leo? Oh, yeah. Like, the black heart. He went from, oh, I'm wearing all white. All of a sudden, a couple streaks in his tights are black. All of a sudden, he's starting to wear makeup. He's starting to wear more makeup. He's starting to look dead. And then, all of a sudden, all black trunks, all black, all black everything. And right. It turn. It would be nice to see, like, all of a sudden, a black streak, like, at, like, one or two black streaks in her hair. Just to be like, oh, she's starting to change. Or something like that, or, I don't know. Something slow. <laughs> something slow until SummerSlam, because you still got about, what, uh, I want to say, like, six weeks until SummerSlam. Yeah, then they're all they're already talking about a draft. Yeah, yeah the they're way, talking about a draft for October. By the way, what do you think about possibly going to Fight Island for uh, for SummerSlam? Summer uh, do it outdoors. Not do it in Dubai. They're going to be outdoor. Not going to Dubai, obviously, but they're going to go to a beach and do it outdoors. Apparently. Ugh. Don't don't have fans there. They're not. No, 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 no. No fans. They've already announced that, but they're thinking about doing it on a beach with no fans. You'll probably see the NXT guys there again. Yeah, you'll see the how they're doing it now at the performance center, but they're thinking about going to like a beach to do uh SummerSlam. It's just something different. Since they can't oh, now Ziggler's in the ring with this box, this this underground thing. Uh, I don't know. I'm just. Uh, let me doing? see here. But all right, let's... Still, are they still doing the dumbass underground? Yeah. Yeah. Now showing, Ziggler's doing it. They're now showing Ziggler's like three or fight. four. So yeah, they're doing something. What the fuck? But it looks right. like he's doing something. It looks like he's humping him. <laughs> all right, guys. Trying to elbow him. All right. Let's get all out right. of here. Let's let's go home with this. Let's bring it home. Yeah. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that was from Real to Heal. Join us back on Wednesday when we come back with the Nerd Zone. And oh boy, do you smell what The Rock is cooking? Because oh boy, there's a lot of tequila money getting thrown around right now. Yeah. All I know is that it's going to be an interesting Wednesday, that's for sure. Yeah. Yep. Because I got a lot to say. And next week on Real to Heal, we talk. Tiger Claws with Bobo Young and Jalal Murray and Cynthia Rothrock. Holy shit. Yeah. And like the joke I made before about the check. As <laughs> cleared. 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 And with that being said, you can also follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at, a, uh, at the Nerd Zone or at the Nerdport Network. Follow us. Follow me on Twitter at FNRonnie. And at Trips NXC. And the Zombie Master. And, like John just said, we will see you on Wednesday, and the check has cleared. <laughs> Good night.